Chatto, it's Sundat, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens in Malta, we are one tie away from the Champions League group stage league phase menagerie for the second season in a row. The question is, do we actually want it, or would we rather drop down into the Europa League and get some coefficient points going? In other news, I have finally, with a little help from a comment on the recap, figured out what the issue is with the part exchange method. I'll explain it today, all that and more, coming up on Building a Nation with Sirens. We're dancing. Let the music flow through you. Yes, the group stage league phase menagerie knockout. Knockout. Knockouts. Ah. Useless cop. I nearly full. I nearly went full Flanders today. I was thinking about going full Ned Flanders. I've even got the brown trousers for it, but I decided against it. Oh, crop issue. Yes. So basically, someone made a comment on the recap, but let me just turn that down. That completely went my brain go. Oh, because you know, the first time we did the crop exchange, we were like, well, that's fucking overpowered. And then it just wasn't for every single time we tried it after that. I now know why. <laughs> I now know why. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's still not as overpowered as we thought it was, but it is much, much better than we thought, than it was looking to be, basically. It is mm, sexy times, let me tell you. Oh. But first, Craig, thank you very much for the follow. Jim, thank you so much for the three months. Conhow, thank you very much also for the three months. Lots of three months yesterday. And Burger, thank you very much for the seven months. And Salty Fuga with the 24 months. All the months. I pressed that button a lot there. I feel like, did I actually work? That was weird. It seems like there's like a limit on how many times I can press that button. That's weird. Mm. Just keep saying, it's so annoying that it's called the UEFA Champions League League phase. Surely there is something else they could call it. Because it feels weird to say out loud. It feels even worse to write down when I'm writing scripts. There is just something really uncomfortable about it, and I don't like it. UEFA, sort it out. Or I'll be very disappointed. Or something. The big group, yes. It's like the big plate. It's the big group. I like that, actually. The big group. <laughs> the group stage. Yeah, I guess the problem with calling it the group stage is you'll get the post, well, actually, it's not a, there's no groups anymore. It's just one large league. And yeah. You're right. Champions League proper. How about that? I feel like Champions League proper. The Champions oh, hey, League hey, phase. Hey, yum, yum, yum. 40 months watching these computer it. men run around on a computer screen. Some season? might say shameful. Not me. I'm very proud. Up a little chef ultras and love to the stream nanas out there. Woozy face. You love to see it. First round. No, because if you say first round, people say, what, first knockout round? First qualifying round? They, they, they would think of two things that are not the thing we're talking about. Um, I would say I do quite like the idea of just calling it... I like you Champions League proper. That makes the most sense to me. But I do like the big group. The big, <laughs> the big group just sounds... Honestly, just the big cup proper. Yeah. Stupid, sexy Champions League. It's not really a league. Well, yeah, I mean, that's literally what they call it, though, isn't it? The big group. I like it. I like the big group. That suits me fine. Mm. Uh, how's everyone going today? Hope you're having a lovely Sunday morning. Sorry, so no way. One of the Steam database. No, so the one that we're using, Craig, is a specially custom made database specifically for this save. So, depending on what you're trying to do, it may not gel with what you're looking for out of a save. If you do want this database, though, exclamation mark Malta in chat, and you can have a download link for it. But it has some elements to it that are not true to real life in order to facilitate furtherance of this save, basically. So, and now I'm not saying the one you got on Steam is either. For all we know, that could actually be worse in terms of rules. Um, but this one will have slightly different packages. So maybe have a little comparison of the two and decide what you think is best. If you actually want to know what we changed in this one, uh, in the Discord server, we have a huge change log list of all the things that Hadrian changed to make this database possible because there's a lot of stuff in it. Things like making the prize money, sponsorship stuff dynamic, uh, the television revenue system, all that sort of stuff is brand new to the save and won't be in any other database, basically. Unless um, you get one of the cool ones that people have made in Discord, which is fucking sick. I love how many of those there are. From all last night? No way. How was it, Xander? You've got to let me know. Give me... Pro uh, this time next Sunday, I'll be in Malta. Probably asleep. <laughs> You'll have to see it. 
The, the Champions League gangbang. I like that too. Just can't use that in the recap videos. <laughs> mm. 15 points after the big group proper. No way. The England magic points bonus. Yes. The one that always just seems to get you. And we still haven't quite figured out where it comes from. <laughs> George C. Stokes. Thank you for the 13 months. Uh, go to Malta uh, next Friday. Yeah, next weekend. Because I'm going to the Sirens Gira game on Saturday. Saturday morning, basically. Ah. Uh. Which is going to be dope. Um, yeah, I was looking into cameras and stuff yesterday. No, sorry, on Friday. And yeah, we're probably going to get the one GoPro because fuck me, they're expensive. And I can't afford to buy second hand in case they don't work. And I won't have time to fix that situation. So I'm looking at like a Hero 9 or a Hero 10. I can't remember exactly which one it is. Um, and then just some accoutrement with the double microphones or something. So that way, at least we still have that. Second of all, yes, that's the plan anyway. Uh, I'm not going to be in Malta for the daytime final. I know, except, yes, except there's no way that's happening. I even wore my track house jumper and now it's not fucking happening. Uh, it'll probably be on tomorrow, right? Because the Xfinity race has already been rescheduled to 11 a.m. tomorrow. So presumably run the Xfinity and then Cup Series straight after. But I was so gutted because I was so looking forward to the Daytona 500 later. And now I'm like, no. <laughs> Worse for me, though, would be if they decided to just run it really late at night, as they often have. As they often have, as they do sometimes. Oh, dear. She's, yeah, Pog's here. Hello, Pog. How's it going? Mm. The reason Turkey managed 20 coefficient points. It will Turkey actually got like top five in a year in like the third season of this save at random. It's like you will see that sometimes. Uh, I've seen Austria do it a few times as well. And Scotland always do it because reasons. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm. Right, let's get off with my big face. Oh sorry. The big group of face. The, the Matt's face proper, as it were. Let's get off. Get her off of that. Which city? Uh well. Malta's not a very big place, but like St. Paul's, basically, the, uh, where Sirens are based. Seems easier just to actually stay where they are, particularly if they're playing at home that weekend. And it's a tiny place, and so we've got a car, so we'll just drive to wherever we need to go anyway. It's Wondering my Skylight, month, thank you for the four months. Hi, Matt and chat. <sighs> are you thinking of getting a Malta flag for your Malta trip? Praise the Maltese cow. Let her death guide you to prosperity. I did used to buy flags for... I had a giant Greenland flag, if you remember correctly. Streaming on a Sunday morning. Yes, indeed. Uh, as always... <laughs> have been for the past 18 months now these these days it's been, quite, it's been quite a while since we switched to sundays it's sleeper oh nice yeah so we're getting a car anyway so it means that we can basically travel to wherever we want make easy push i reckon tim if they actually do have to reschedule the 500 they might even put the xfinity on even earlier just to make sure that the 500 is not too late in the day because you know what it can be like with cautions especially if you saw what happened in the truck race on friday night trucks doing truck things basically oh it's your birthday Happy birthday, medical car. And uh, chat, you know what to do. Give me that uh, H-H-H-H-H-B-B-B-B-B. While you're doing that, I will explain the magical fix. So, basically, uh, I will get to that in one second, first of all. I'm just going to explain something extremely important for chat, because believe me, they're going to want to see this. So, you recall, when we first did the part exchange method, um, we were like, oh, damn, this works unbelievably well. And then it just didn't after that. Like, it was fine for... Um, like normal sort of stuff like if there was a team that was already interested in your players then it was great and it was a way of forcing the play not forcing the player but like facilitating the move a little bit faster because you could offer them out sometimes and they just wouldn't bid whereas this would allow you to make that happen but it we found that it wasn't particularly effective for much else than that other than that first time we used it and um someone and a big shout out to thomas santos in the comments for the recap video for this because he pointed this out he says, basically, if the player has set to zero transfer asking price and, are, and is transfer listed, it will alert clubs to the interest in that player. And as a result, they'll be more likely to ask for them on loan. So that then made me think, oh, wait, we tried that part exchange method thing while we were still doing the unwanted and trying to flip players for free thing, if you recall, which means all the players that we were trying to do that with were already transfer listed and set to zero value. That's why it worked. Right? So. Here's where I've got undone. Every player that I want to be loaning out right now, minus a couple of the really good ones, because I'm afraid if I put them at zero value, we'll just start getting loads of transfer bids from big sites. So anyone who's interested from like, the, the only ones I haven't done it with, I think is Sultan of Mayhem and uh, Malika, because I believe they'd actually get bids from big clubs. In fact, I think they're already wanted by... No. <laughs> it's just Australian clubs, chat. Don't worry. So I put everyone else on the transfer list because they don't care. For the most part. None of them actually complained about this. Even someone like Stefan Toplak didn't complain about it. And they've all got their transfer value set to zero. So what we're now going to see is over the rest of this window, just checking in on this list, if that suddenly drives up any interest in these players. Now, I tested it on a different version of the database, like because obviously I've got old save files from this, just to see if there was any difference. And 
in that scenario, it worked. So I want to see how we do over the course of the next sort of two weeks of the window, basically, to see how we actually get, how close we can get with this. Um, currently, though, 69 players out on loan. Nice. I want to see if we can get that number above 80 by the end of the first transfer window, providing this actually works. That's going to be the plan, basically. So we'll see if this works out together. But yeah, right now we're losing. That sounds about right, unfortunately. <laughs> Cyrene's not having a good season. I think we've only won one game this year, have we not? Still not bottom, if I recall. Yeah, I've heard that it's very chaotic with the traffic. Um, at least they drive on the left. <laughs> so there's that. Hello, Weasel Farmer. How's it going? Right, let me just finish off my red drink. Now we're ready. Okay. Oh, hello. Bente! Thank you for the 100 bits. How was park run yesterday? Meanwhile, I'm just going to check on the Indian national team. Oh, well, excellent, Wata. How are you, my friend? Uh, right, so, Indian national team. I wouldn't be surprised. They play. Oh, we're playing Hamrin right now. Yeah, I would expect that to be a comfortable defeat. Oh, no players we can take for free. Ah. One second nationality there, with Ethan Zubak. But no, unfortunately, no Maltese league players right now. Oh, dear. My language. Oh, shit. Ah, it's cool that you do that, though. Pog used to do the marshalling quite a lot back when she hurt her knee. And sort of when she was still sort of interested in running and stuff. No worries, Craig. Let me know if it... Because, like I said, there's a lot of things that are very different about it. So do pay attention to that before you sort of commit to a long-term save. Ethan... Yeah, Ethan Zubak, I think is Zubak. <laughs> he only lives in the caves. Is there an 18-year-old there? Oh, hello. Oh, you're right. Ricky Singh. Oh, what a name. Andrea does know I'm going. Not only does Andrea know I'm going, but Andrea has is in theory sorting out VIP tickets to the game for me and Pog because he's an absolute legend. <laughs> he actually approached me and was like, so when are you coming to Malta again? What a guy. Seriously, seriously, what a dude. I'm so, like, just, you don't expect that. Like, but like, what an absolute legend. Because I was going to message him about it, but then I was like, shit, I only have him on Twitch. And then he just DM'd me on Twitter. It was like, what a guy. So this is Ethan Zubak, just out of interest. So, yeah, was that La Galaxy? And now he's at Northeast United, which I presume is an Indian club. Yes. Also, let's have a look at the 18-year-old guy, Ricky Singh. Oh, he's... How has he got 12 caps? But anyway, I'm, I don't know, Thomas. We'll, we'll have to see. Like, it's a question of time, and I don't want to have to take too much stuff out there with me, right? Uh, I'm mainly focusing on the good when we're going out there. Dan's, bro it's Dan's brother. You're right. <laughs> Watch out. Middle name si middle name Dan. Ah. Useless. Rubbish. Yeah, it is. I'm just surprised that... I, I want to scout him, obviously, because it's just not every day you see that. Hey, Matt. That's kind of sick, though. Um, Speaking of, Bill will tell you about this, because he was... Um, D Bill DM me about this yesterday. He found a guy uh, in the Bangladeshi League, a uh, Bangladeshi player as well, for his J-League save, who was, like, actually decent. And I've never managed to find a decent Bangladeshi player before, so I'm extremely jealous. Bill, have you got a full screenshot? Because I didn't actually get to see the full player in the screenshot you sent me, and I want to show chat. But Sevilla. They, do they? I've had one guy come through at Dortmund. Uh, I saw a really, really good English, uh, Indian player, rather, on... I can't remember which save it was. It might have been Whitport or someone like that that was at Dortmund in that save, and he was, like, actually really, really good. But I, I believe he actually genned at Dortmund, which kind of does make sense. The loan farm. Well, maybe. We do need to start finding a few more guys for the loan farm. Even though we've got, like, a big chunk of players I want to try and get rid of right now, I still feel like finding a few sort of four-star kind of players that are on the cheap. So every time our new scout reports come through, I'm going to just look at some four-star guys. If they're really cheap, just grab them, right? And Liverpool, no way. That's kind of sick. I'm surprised you don't see more coming through at English clubs, given the amount of uh, sort of Indian diaspora in the UK. But I guess that FM's kind of modelled it in that there's just less interest in football in those communities in general because cricket is a far more popular sport in India. Like, it just is, isn't it? It's a shame, though, because I feel like India, if they actually... If, as a country, were more interested in football, with the catchment area they have and the population size, same with China in many ways, could be absolutely unbelievable just because of sheer statistics. Like, it's insane. But the interest just isn't there. It's not to say football isn't popular in India because it massively is, but, like, you know, it's just it's not cricket, is it? It's just not cricket. Oh, do they really? I didn't know that. Um, also, China tried it, yeah. I mean, but so China tried it with, like... They sort of did it the wrong way, didn't they, kind of thing. Multi's got from Sunderland, nice. Holds back with the truck. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting. Because, like, when you look at sort of smaller footballing nations that overperform massively versus their, like, population size, like Iceland, for example, even the Netherlands to a certain extent, really, when you look at what they've achieved on the international stage, despite not winning, but, like... 
they always punch above their weight from a population standpoint. It's incredible. Uruguay, yeah, Uruguay as well. They're a massive example of that. Singapore and South Africa. Oh, that's a cool combination. Um, so chat, you might be thinking to yourself, Matt, it's, it's three o'clock on a Saturday, and uh, why are we? Why are we? What are we doing today? Well, I'll tell you. That's right. <clears throat> We are playing our Champions League first leg against Rebel Salzburg at three o'clock on a Saturday. <laughs> because of course we fucking are. I don't know. And it's not just us either. It's like, why are we playing these games on a Saturday? There's also a blackout. Surely they can't even televise them. Daytime Champions League on a Saturday. <laughs> Bear in mind as well, this game occurs uh, only three days after our midweek tie against Carabag where we reached the next round. So our players are all knackered as well. So that's good. Um, this has happened a few times now. Must be a leap. Yeah. Ah, true. Could be. Or as we call it, the big jump. Tai Nugent. Tai, tai Nugents are, generally speaking, very, very good. Balagan Dragons. I, I can if we do a lookup on them, but obviously we want to kind of keep things moving as fast as we can. Now, I've never seen it on the weekends before. I've seen it on like Friday. We had one on the Friday. Uh, last year, I think, we played a random Champions League game on a Friday. Uh, but today, it's a Saturday one instead. Uh, I am very concerned about our match. Oh, we're actually okay. We're not too bad. Only a Fifi, really. Because obviously, with no Sangari, and we've got... I think there's another guy we were playing in there, but he's now injured. It was, it was Longello, wasn't it? Oh, no, he's suspended, I think. Only was FVR, unfortunately. Yeah, the other Maltese sides did really, really well. But... They got insanely tough draws. Like, for example, Looter actually beat Trabzonspor 5-3, but it wasn't enough because of the uh, option and settings. There is, but that actually just normalizes everything. And I actually quite like having the uh, Europa League games on different days. Scheduling perhaps you demolish. Yeah, but then that wouldn't explain why there's five other ties also being played on the Saturday. Uh, it, I think it's just FM's a bit weird this year with that. Samarin. Well, there's actually a really good Samaranese player in this save. He plays for Victoria Pilsen, who we're kind of intrigued by because he's still considered five-star potential. And he's like actually decent. He came through at um, a Czech side, obviously. And yeah, we're really interested in him. He's on the shortlist. So this is what we're going to have to go with. By the way, you know that Vida hasn't got a single assist this season, right? Look at this. I was just curious about why. He has got 4.44 XA. Somehow, they have it's not his fault. He's creating the chances. Champions They're just not taking them. Saturday. Scott, what thank the you for the 31. Seriously, what the actual fudge? It's on par with Asamoa Gen being number two. True. Just odd. Anyway, up the sirens. It, I mean, it really is. Also, think of Runa Kona. He was number two as well, wasn't I? Wait, so hang on. I thought they moved the Xfinity race to, t to 11 a.m. tomorrow. Have they already cancelled the cup race for today as well? Have they just moved the Xfinity race again? I assume they will end up moving the cup race too, but I, I thought that was the Xfinity race. Because I, I looked on Instagram this morning to see who won the Xfinity race last night. And then they just... Because I wanted to see how SVG got on. And, uh, yeah. It's kind of crazy that he's got 4.4 XG. Sorry, XA this year and not a single assist on it. It's actually kind of crazy. He just... He has, but he's still very good. Like, when you actually look at his development still... You can see there's been, like, a few little bits like he's... I mean, actually... So this is the last 12 months. So let's just assume... Oh, 4 p.m.? Oh, I see. So they're going to run it after the cup race now. Okay, that makes sense. Translation. Uh, someone did actually tell us, but we I've now immediately forgotten it. Um, yeah, so he's actually only lost bravery in the grand scheme of things over the last year. A few little downward drops in a couple of things. 4 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. But it was originally moved to 11 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, 4 p.m. UK time. Sorry, yeah. Ah. Yeah, no, that's sorry. I knew that. I was just going by like presumably Eastern time. Um, I just, yeah, <laughs> translate in my head. So yeah, he has lost a little bit over the last year, but then he's not really been training for the last year and he spent a lot of that injured. Now, often, often, often with the big, with the big injuries, you lose a lot of bravery. The Formula Winter Qualifier, all 38. What, do they all do track limits? Or how does that happen? Also, what is Formula Winter? I've never heard of that. Uh, right, we want to get Quickione out. It's because unfortunately he and um, Burn are quite evenly matched as far as CA it seems now. And as a result, my assistant keeps whacking him in. 7 p.m. today, you start. Yeah, but it's not going to, is it? Because it's raining all day. Um, like, it's raining all day in Daytona, so there's no way they're getting the cup race in tonight, I wouldn't have thought. Like, apparently it's scheduled to rain until like 8 p.m. local time. 
F1 in the snow sounds amazing. Oh, it sounds impossible, but yeah. Yeah, there's no way they get the racing today. Which is a shame, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, right. Yeah, you can see there is definitely some, like, OPC issues, but that's just because of three games in between. Right. Okay. Let's go. I'm not worried about this game in the sense that I don't think we're good enough to beat Red Bull Salzburg over two legs. But I don't really think it matters that much if we don't. Because I think a season in the Europa League would actually be kind of good for us. We've got money. And I think a year in the Europa could be really, really profitable. As far as, like, coefficient points go. Because we've got 3.3. We've equaled our points from last year. And I feel like if we were to get into the Champions League, we'd barely get any new points. Yeah, I feel like... I mean, it'd be nice to win one of the legs or something. So we go down with something. But I'm just not expecting much from this. I think they actually are a really solid team. It's weird that there are five other games. Sorry, four other games going on. The sound of coefficient points, exactly. Like, we got, what was it? 14 points in the uh, Europa League last season? No, not last season, the season before. Oh, God. That, okay, I don't want to see goals like that, though. Jesus. What's the 1994? Oh, 1994 is a classic. Gabrielli Tarquini, the illegal Alfa Romeos. What a year. Is that the one with the man's an animal? Or is that the year before? I think you're right. We could actually make up a decent amount of money in the Europa League too. Because you get the 12 million or whatever for getting to the Champions League. But then if you don't win any games there, you're going to get some good gate receipts. And that's about it with the occasional draw. Whereas in the Europa League, say you win like five matches in the group, a couple of draws in there, get through a couple of rounds of the knockouts. You're probably working on about 10 million pounds in prize money just from that alone. Council has something to stay. Oh, Jesus. I've never actually... I've heard about stuff like that, but I've never actually seen it. The game has been played during the daytime because it's been played at 3 p.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> because reason... No money for UCL. Um, well, there is TV money, but it's not... It's like... I think it's 1.9... No, 1.5 million. And then you get the occasional game that's like individually televised, but you get like 12K. It's nothing much there. I think you get like 1.5 million in, tran in sorry TV money from like a big pot as well. Um, we'd have to go back and have a proper look, basically. But yeah, I can see what you mean. I think we would... Oh, Christ. Camary. Yeah, I somehow don't think we're going to be getting past Red Bull Salzburg. <laughs> no, other Maltese sides didn't make it. Um, they actually got knocked out earlier than last year. Well, sorry, that's not true. S they progressed on average further than last year, but none of them actually reached as far as Hamroon did last year, if that makes sense. So on average, it's still a better result, but no one actually went as far in general. But the reason for that is just horrendous draws. Like, they got some appalling draws. And got some results that we weren't expecting in the first place. So they actually progressed further than perhaps we thought they should have done, which I think shows that they are definitely working in the right direction. But we'll see. Come on, can we at least get a goal? Vida, ball in. Le oh, God damn it, man. Come on, Henry, we need a big season out of you. I think, unfortunately, the players are just so tired from having played on Wednesday in the Champions League. Go on, Vida. Oh, it's such a poor effort. It's nice to see Rodrigo scoring. Yesterday's game was a bit of a shit show in general, honestly. But the, what a finish from Muniz. He's genuinely just like... It's weird. The same thing, exact thing happened to Raul. Um, because like... Oh, hello. Go on. Slide him in. Oh, dear. Right. Now pass it back to him. Please, Eeyore. Oh, what a pass. Go on, Henry. Gets back in it. Mm. Yo, you're right. Hammer and Arsenal in it, aren't they? Sorry. No, I'm, you're right. I'm an idiot. Hammer and Arsenal in it, but they drew Sevilla in the playoff round. <laughs> So, F's in chat for them. Uh, oh, yeah, Sunday is a bit injured, isn't he? Uh, which is typical of him today. Tis the day of our... Tis, tis the sab... He shouldn't really be playing at all. Um, I'll get Boiling Fanny on. Uh, it's only half-time, Matt. What are you doing? I'm annoyed that we missed that chance, though, to at least score a goal. Like, It doesn't look like big boy group for us this year. But you know what? We're not expected to. And I'd really like another go at the Europa League this year because I actually think that with the right luck... And not having that weird game against Sturmgratz. I could see us going like quarterfinals, potentially. With the right draws. Melman. Oh, what a goal. Eeyore Melman. Ronnie Shallow who? I, I don't even know who he is anymore. Melman is just... He is him. He's become the man we dreamed he could be. What a freak. That, what a brilliant angle that AR chip. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Wow. What, what a shot. <laughs> Sorry. Was this being directed by a film student? Like, what was that? The fit and proper group test. <laughs> Two teams going in the distance in a cup or one going further and we're knocked out earlier. Ooh, um, it probably evens out to about the same digital dog, but it would also depend on the competitions as well. 
purchase from each day of the week. I don't think you can. I'm fairly certain there isn't actually enough players in the game. Surely not. Oh my god. I don't think there's players in the game with every day of the week. Uh, we've seen Fridays, Sundays, Mondays, but I don't think I've seen many of the other names, frankly. Uh, also, Sporting getting absolutely humped there by final. There probably isn't, yeah. <laughs> Boy, fanny's everywhere, mate. <laughs> Go on, Kamga. Oh, I mean, we've at least looked better in the second half. Let me make some subs. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit more impressed with this. We sort of pick things up a little bit. But the problem is there's just l so limited options on the bench for us right now because of the injuries and the... Not even the suspect. Wow, Vida's on a 6-3. Defense, other than Jorgensen, hasn't even been that bad. I might even get Fafana on for a little run out. The other thing I've done is I've managed to reduce some of the squad playing time of some of the players as well, using that thing we were doing before, just to sort of hopefully stop some of the complaints as much. Um, the one thing I have noticed about it, though, when I did this before... <laughs> Unnecessary. Is that it seems to then make them complain immediately if they're not getting the squad's time that you've moved them to. <laughs> just get seven of the patrons to make one next year when everyone's got a different day of the week. Like I said in the conference thing, no way. Four spots, nicely done, man. That's actually really impressive. <clears throat> What's his new in now? Hello, Aiden. Lua, well, we haven't really seen much of that yet. Oh, hang on. Go on. No. Oh. Wait, I don't think we're I reckon we might get a draw here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, BTTS is always a good bet in a game with Sirens frankly <laughs> there's very rarely does a game go by even against a big side where we don't score like we got tw we got two goals against psg last season two against tottenham uh still only took one point from those games but obviously speaking of btts i got two of my corner hackers came in yesterday so that was really nice that paid for dinner go on nice oh hang on a minute wait this is an actual breakaway chance go on for fauna <sighs> right wednesday should be it could be I wonder if we'll get some really cool new regen name combinations. What was for dinner? It was Saturday night. It was dirty. Such is life. That's a quite a nice clearance idea. Oh, Fafana nearly stepped in there. Go on, little touch. Ah, oh, come on. I feel like we're, we're literally one good counter-attack away from potentially grabbing an equaliser here, but I do have a horrible feeling that we're going to concede before that happens, and it's Burke through. Good save. K-pop stands up. Wait, hang on. Pronunciation of what? What did I do? Yeah, I've noticed that as well, um, Hans. The players who are, especially at regular starter, seem to complain about it when they're getting regular starter. And the game tells you that they're getting regular starter. And you're like, what can I do about this? Um, it's it's frustrating. I think maybe the reason I actually saw this is because I moved some of them down to regular starter. Oh, BTT. Right, sorry. I see what you mean, yeah. Go on, Cam, go around the side. And Doi. Go on, give me two all. Oh, okay. Well, oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, it was, it was an effort. Um, that's gone through everybody. We're going to concede off this now, aren't we? That was our chance for two all. Come on, good block needed. Oh, come on. Dorgalese Nene. It's going to be given, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Wait, is that offside? Where? Was he in front of the ball? Oh, oh no, we are going to see. I don't want to see this. Oh, he is. Well, yeah, I, I mean, that's soft, but like, there we go. He did completely miss it. I don't know how. he was. That was the perfect cross in many respects, but there you go. Come to you play about playing time. Don't talk to them about it through the message. Just go change their squad status to the happiness screen as much as... Oh, no, literally, Aiden. That's what I've been doing. Uh, chat showed me this. Uh, there's a button you can click in the happiness thingy when you persuade them. And I tried it on a lot of our squad players, and I think only one guy complained out of like 10. So I think it's a good way of at least having them on less extreme. And you know what? I, I don't even feel bad about doing it just because I know how badly that part of the game has been, like, optimized lately. Where too many players want too large contracts for playing time. And it just means that, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you do exclamation mark tactics, Prant, uh, you can get uh, the tactics. Right. Um, that's frustrating, but they were better than us. <laughs> like, yeah, I think it's because, you know, with them not being in a playable league, they are sort of not... They don't make as many transfer moves, essentially. Uh, although 5-1 against Sporting is a big result. Right, yeah, that's going to be a toughie for us to turn around, I suspect. You might also notice chat a new chatbot message today, uh, and that is because this stream now for the next month is being sponsored by the British Heart Foundation and their new campaign to 
um, teach people CPR in 15 minutes, which I think is rather cool. So you won't see much of it, but you will see it on my Be Right Back screens because they've been taking over those for the next month. Time to teach you how to do CPR, uh, which is important for me. That's why I was like, yes, let's do that. Hmm. So the whiz quiz obviously will not be anything for the next month because it will be CPR lessons. Little corner goes with a big slap. Yeah, I think Anarith at some point maybe like a tactics incubator. Um, we might have to do a corner tactic incubator, basically. <laughs> What's well, so the new uh, like the, uh, the the view bots coming and start promoting CPR lessons? I'll be like I'm all over that man. <laughs> oh, don't worry about this. This is going to happen anyway. Do I know CPR? No, I don't. And this is my point. This is why I was keen to learn and do this sort of stuff. Um, which is why I was happy to bring them on as a sponsor. And when I say sponsor, I'm doing it for free. But like, <laughs> obviously, it's a charity. Um, but it's also something that's quite close. My, my, I'll explain why when we come back to that later. Anyway, yeah. So what we're going to do, this is the first step. Because this happened when I tested it as well. Right? We're going to decline all of these, obviously. Because they're all going to be from clubs in their leagues. Pretty much. But we knew that was going to happen. But they don't care. Uh, for the most part and if they do you just say that oh well, the money wasn't enough because obviously it's zero um so right let's get rid of these this was i expected this happened when i tried this um well it was different players obviously but it was a slightly different version of the save but still hopefully this will work i want to see if we can get wow ds as well nice even gorayeb lovely big juicy lou thank you very much for the five months how the devil are you my friend well that's the thing martini that's that's my point um in fact i would be willing to bet that some of them now have them already so we'll see one thing we do have to be careful with though is if we get loan interest instead of trying the part exchange method it might be better to just try to get them out the normal way once the loan interest is there because you know we got um john dong suck out to sweetie during the last stream but we forced it through in the part exchange method because we couldn't be asked to wait for them to just put a bid in when they were interested um that's costing them four hundred thousand pounds i checked it earlier the, they negotiated part of that part exchange agreement meant that they're going to pay us 45 grand a month for that and i don't want that <clears throat> but that's part of the issue you've got to be careful with. Uh, so Danny Hume's in. That's his lit that is literally his name, Jean Dong Suck. That's not like a thing we've changed on it. Right, let's have a look. <clears throat> Let us see. <laughs> Flow Feast doing the doing the Lord's work, recommending some uh <coughs> some copyright free music. Oh, my throat's gone. So, let's have a little gander here. And see if there's any new interest. My guess is it's going to take a couple of days for it. To oh, hang on. Ah, there you go. Matthew Pace, Goody United. Wait, what's the injury? That'll be fine. Matthew Pace, Goody United. Now, obviously that's transfer because he's listed for free. But now all we need to do is go into here. Go to Goodyear. Like so. Uh, oh. And... Tabone. I mean, he's listed for loan. <laughs> Can we have him? There we go. And what I have noticed as well <clears throat> is with this, to your loan, they very rarely ask for very much either. So that's good. So we'll just try that. Now, with the ones that say transfer, obviously you can't then wait for them to come in for the loan because they simply won't. But what I have noticed, uh, let's see, it's Malaika, no, it's Western City Wanderers, Cuthbert, no new interest there. Uh, with Tara? Hibernians. There you go. That's... That'd be a really nice move for someone like Hibernians. Uh, let's find... Sorry, this might be a bit pernickety at first. <clears throat> Youth contracts exist. Yeah, they do. Uh, they're really, really long. Um, you'll notice that all players are on them until they're 17 if they have a, pro a professional deal. Oh, that was me, self herring. Um, I, like I said, I have some slots available, but I can't unlock any new ones, so I have to be very sparing about how I use them, basically. Uh, oh, this is just helpful. Doing it on this view might be way easier, because... Oh, they have a lot of potential. Okay, never mind. We won't do it with him. Uh, should to find someone else. No long-term future. Cool. Uh, wrong one, Matt. Place for exchange. Oh, they want two of them. So let's just see if this works. If they want two of them. There you go. Because they actually want those players. And there you go. <laughs> one day Scottish ships will just sneak in there and steal one because I just get confused. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, right, see what else we got. Any more? That was him. Uh, Mayhem Sultan, that seems unlikely to be. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's Chinese clubs. Khalifa, that is loads of Australian clubs again. Victor Ramos, that's all Australian clubs. And Ehrlich. Oh, Bicky Kara. There you go. 
Oh, right. Get the first row. Uh, how do you mean? Right, so let's try that. Bikikara, under 19 squad. Just Daniel Azapardi, not quite Dave. Buy youth players and see who they're interested in that way. Oh, well, we can. Well, uh, I'm not sure I understand. <clears throat> it seems quicker to just look at who they're interested in and just give them those players. <laughs> because otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Ehrlich, he might do, honestly, yeah. Jonas Ehrlich. And the other good thing about this, right, is that we can default... Well, they want a bit more money there. We can default it to two-year loans as well, which just saves us a bit of time. Right, cool. The Asmas... Yes, that's the thing. You get the first row. Sorry, yeah, I understand what you mean now. Yeah, because of that, because now the, what this does, basically, is it doesn't force anything. It just basically goes, hey, who's actually up for these players? Clubs one at a time, they're having over 40 players. Uh, yeah, but if you go through the clubs one at a time, you still have to go through all the players at that club till you find a player that's suitable every single time. And you can't really... And then you still have to back out three levels to go to a different club because you can't just scoot down because you're not on the club page anymore. So I feel like it's kind of... I think they're both equally efficient, which is honestly not very. Uh, he might be... Oh, he's part-time. 20, though. Might not be a loan card. But these are the kind of players that I think might actually be useful for us. So we'll just see if this works. Now, I'm fully expecting some of these guys to turn these offers down, as is the way. Uh... Yeah, with stuff like this, I'm just be like, better off a... I mean, they're not going to pay that, are they? And obviously, I want to take him back off of that again now, uh, because we don't want Three Maltese clubs paying £7 million pounds for him. Kind of okay content. Perhaps Why yeah. do I do this to myself? That is a good question, my friend. Thank you for the three months. Though. I really do appreciate it. 900 quid. Uh, hang on, offer who 900 quid? Uh, but, 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 don't want a low move. You are oh, fair enough, yeah. Flow does deserve it, to be fair. Uh, the shitty players. Yeah, but I can't afford to give every single one of these guys we do this with a £900 a week salary. We don't have that kind of cash available. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done the low move there. Like, I can't afford to pay these guys a grand a week each. Sadly. Salzburg Red Bull. Um, nah, they were just better than us. Like, we, we nearly had an equalizer in the game. Also, I'm half expecting a lot of these guys to get turned down. Like, I don't expect these all to go through. We're not quite at the level yet where we can offer that kind of money to them. Check some amateur players. Uh, no, we have checked on some amateur players. I did a lot of Brazil scouting. Um, but at the moment, I actually think we're in a better spot where the best bet for us might be to just get some normal scout reports through and just try to pick up some guys for like 100k here, 100k there. So they're a slightly higher quality. Because I genuinely believe that now, when new players join us... Oh, hello. No, no. <laughs> oh. So we brought a lot of free Brazilians in on trial as well. And, well, well, looky what we have here. Um, that seems to be more powerful as well now. They're all just, like, feasting on them. A lot of the guys are going out to the affiliate clubs too, which is nice, just to get that sort of uh, train start, including Harry Saunders. But no, our loss to Red Bull Salzburg was pretty much fair and square. We were kind of expecting it too, honestly. As if Galatasaray have signed Nathaniel and Wusu for £9.7 million and he's on 69 grand a week. <laughs> of course he is. What a guy. It is basis, but you have to bring the right players in. I've noticed that when we tried this before with much, with slightly better players, they just certainly weren't interested. Do we get money out of that? Holy shit. 300 grand. Is he actually good now? Probably. I mean, obviously, he is good, but I don't believe that he's that much better than Burn. Truthfully, like, I mean, I'm going to scout him anyway. Reflexes are decent. Like, he, he, unless he's at the very high end of all of these attributes, I don't believe he's that much better than Burn is. What a career he's had, by the way, just working his way through Turkish football. Like, 500 grand for us here. Then, on a free to Istanbul Basakşehir here in the top flight, although they were actually all in the top flight now. He's played for four different teams in the Turkish top flight. Although, oh, that's this season, technically, yeah. Like, 13 clean sheets ain't bad. He has been, like, genuinely excellent for the Turkish team. But as you say, like, I bet you, I bet you, though, when we next play Galatasaray, which just feels like a random draw we'll get in the Europa League anyway, he will play an absolute blinder against us, because of course he will. Uh, ooh. Wait, what? Why is this default to the loan farm view? There we go. Arneson? Ooh. 
So he could be the sort of guy that could be loan farmable. Really cheap. 17. Looks to have decent potential. Those are the kind of guys I want to have a little look at. First leg, we lost 2-1 at home, unfortunately. And this is the sort of thing I'm on about. He was fine with his playing time until I reduced it. Oh, wait, hang on. Breakthrough prospect? Oh, that's actual playing Here time. Here is bad. to spending another amount of money to one of the people of all time. I am one of those. Mikey, thank you very much for the 33 months. Holy Lord. Maybe he's worth it. Do you know, Bold? Do you know, Rob, he might be? Oh, I'm surprised they haven't just rolled out oh, like a quick a hot patch for that. Or are they just going to wait until maybe the winter update perhaps for that? I guess it's one of those things where it's like, if people want to complain about it, just like don't do it. Uh, uh, the only way I could think is that maybe a network saves, it would get a bit annoying. <laughs> You're just play playing a network save in League 2 and all of a sudden they rock up with Erling Haaland up front. Not that that would work anyway, because it doesn't work with the contract, does it? So, um, yeah, we're going to have to talk to him. What was he promised? Squad player. I don't, do you know what? I'm not opposed to that. Because we could just play Mayhem Sultan instead. Yeah, either he, we loan him out or he just kind of get... Okay, he his makes a little bit more sense. Although I did just bring his down to impact sub now. And he's got the actual playing time of a youngster. I know he didn't rebut. I'm getting to it in a second. I just wanted to sort this out first. Um, like I said, with the lookups, I never, I don't always do them immediately because sometimes there's just something else we're just looking at. Um, I'll try and get him a loan if he wants one. I mean, who am I to say no to more loans? Right. Oh, this is a tune too. Thomas Randrup. Now the question is, which one? I'm assuming you're meaning the old Tommy Randrup, uh, who is at OB. 11, I mean, it's better than his, I say better, he's been there for three years. Oh, that's fine. They're, a, they're not a summer league, are they? I mean... 7 and 14 ain't bad. 3 and 15 is kind of bad. Um, that's a bit better, though. Goal and an assist in two games. Maybe a bit of flash in the pan there, but... Man has literally not had a Man of the Match award since he played for us. <laughs> it's it's not gone amazingly for him, but he's earning 15 grand a week. Also, love that value. 75 grand to 6.2 million. <laughs> he has got quicker, though. Look at that 18 to 20 acceleration. I want to see what his acceleration actually is now. Oh, he's having a nice time. And I can't fault him for that. Uh, Perfecto Alt-Stars. I'm assuming it's... Uh, unfortunately... Oh, it's a song request. <laughs> Sorry, Perfecto Alt-Stars genuinely sounds like a goddamn... Did that one actually go through, Bad Girl? Because sometimes the ones where it's just written don't. Uh, S-Link. Oh, he's still at Spire Rotterdam. Oh, man. He's 25 and still not playing. He's still not made a... Oh, no, he has. He, he actually made an appearance for Sparta Rotterdam before he came on loan to us for three years and has still not made a senior appearance for them since then. Just a load of games for young Sparta. Oh, that's depressing, isn't it? Sen was so good. The problem is he wouldn't be able to work at Kimo because of his um £15,000 a week wages. He's completely unaffordable. That's a wild amount of money. They are overspending on him, you might say. At least we have a bit of a gap now. Uh, Right. Load off us Ramos. Same old crap. Moss will want a bit of good start. Who, how good are you? Eh, he's probably a backup goalkeeper for them. Uh, I, also, by the way, it feels like the, um, the higher intermediary thing, for some reason, just brings loads of Australian clubs out of the woodwork. Didn't show yourself. Um, I was going to, but then I figured that it wasn't really about me. Um, so I just cut it out in the end because I didn't really see the point in banging on about my own regen. I figured people would be more interested in their own regens. So I did actually show it, but I just cut it out in the edit to cut the video down a little bit. Right. Uh, that's good. That's a few more loans. Hey, look, we've already got 10 loans. Now, admittedly, most of those loans were just to affiliate clubs, so that doesn't really count. What will count is if we can start getting some of these new loans out. Oh, also, probably trying to consult the list again just to see if there's any new interest. Malik Cater for Hamroon. Vinicius. Okay, so that's one. Oh, hello. Dodario to Hamroon as well. That we can do a bundle deal with those two. Wataro, that's still Hibernians. That's in play. That's in play. Rodriguez? Nah. Sultan. Khalifa. Oh, more Australian clubs. Okay. Air League, we're already working on that. Okay, cool. Get a bit of hammering in there. So we want... Can't really say no to that. If they're interested, they're interested, right? Uh, hammering. What are we saying? Who you got? Godwin Borg. What a name. Fabulous name. Oh, lots of potential. Okay, we don't want that. There we go. Place for exchange. 
And they want Dario and Malik Keita. We don't mind a bit of that. Cool. And next season? 20k. Not bad for that, really. Lovely. Now, it may not work again, because one of them could turn that one down and absolutely break it. But hey, it is what it is, right? Oh. Cool. I reckon we can... I wanted to get to 80. But now that we've done all that, I'm kind of thinking maybe 90 should be the target. Uh, is that happening? Lightly reject. Oh, Air League looks like he's going to turn them down. It's going good, Los Alfa. It's going good. Well, it will be going a lot better if we can get some of these loans out. But it does seem to be promising so far. But I won't count my chickens yet until we've actually got the loans done. Um, okay. Vicky Caro on a bit of him as well. Oh, that's that striker that everybody wants a bit. Welcome in, King Jimmy. Right. Get those guys through. Oh. Well, you know, right. It's, it's, it's part of the save, you know. Muscle week. Wait, what? All right. <laughs> there was a split second where my brain went, you what? Not the William. I thought maybe like a 43-year-old William or something might be joining Moster. That would have been amazing. Um, no, it's just a random right winger from... Oh, he's won about a few different clubs, though, at least. Uh, Rodriguez. Nope. Not sending you to China. Oh, also, update on Matthew... That's great to see. Update on Matthew side. So, I have it on good authority that his surname is not pronounced said, nor is it pronounced Saeed. It's just side. So there we go. Ah, it was just one of those games, Jimmy. The referee was fucking appalling for both. Like, he was just genuinely appalling, I think. Uh, it was one of the worst refereeing displays I've seen in a while. Like, absolutely appalling. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I wonder if we're getting any updates about our mentoring. <laughs> yeah. Method to reduce expected play time. Uh, yes. Um, we've actually been trying it. So that's good. Uh, yeah, he doesn't even play on the side. Silly man. Like, what are you doing? Uh, a bit of that. Willian, there's no way he's still in the game, right? I'm guessing not. Hang on. Let's just quickly check. Uh, oh, 600 players. I'm fairly certain that he's retired. Just check. How old would William be? Like, mid-40s or something? That's William. It's not William Jose. Yeah, I think he's gone. Yeah, that that is, there is no sadly no William. Makes me sad. Oldest player currently. Any fifty? Ooh, good question. Probably not though. RFS scout report. Oh, did I? Hang on one sec. Let me just do this look up and we'll, we'll circle back. Uh, what was we looking for? Yeah, this was when we were looking at the Brazil players. Let me just clear all this for the moment because we can get back to that real easy. Uh, 100k players in the database right now, which is not bad. Right, oldest player. What do you reckon? I reckon it's going to be really boring and be like 38. Maybe 39 at a push. 44 would be Summit. I reckon 39. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a genius, but I might be. Sometimes my genius is frightening, chat. He like crispy. So there's, there's Warner Hahn, who is a 39-year-old goalkeeper. Uh, would you like to go on trial? FM's kind of really bad. Like, that's a shame. What about the... The heaviest? 115 kilograms. I love that he is a full 6 kilos heavier than any other player in the save. And a full 12 kilos heavier than... Somborshenko is a big boy. And he's 6 foot 5, but 115 kilos. That's in... That's... I'm trying to think how much that is in, like... Yeah. He's like Akin Fenwa if he was 6 foot 5. He lives solely on whey protein. 18 stone. Bloody hell. Like, for a footballer, I'd have, I was, I guess a goalkeeper, I'd have thought he'd have to be about 6'8 for that to have looked in proportion. Bloody hell. Bear in mind, this guy under here is 6'8 and he's 6 kilos lighter. Fair play. Like, this player's loads of 50 kilo dudes who are all like 5'3. Do you reckon there's any 4 foot chaps? Oh, there is. There's two. There's Dominic and Zala. 
who's 4'11", and he's a goalkeeper. He's taken the Dieter Hocken route. 4'11", goalkeeper. And Riley Kyra, who is a regen, who is 4'11". Why is he a 4'11", goalkeeper? That's the one position where you really don't want to be 4'11". Uh, what about the tallest? 6'10". Wait, that's a regen. Holy shit. I didn't think you could get six foot ten regens. Russell Deward of Vancouver FC is a six foot ten centre back, and I will be scouting him immediately because he's six foot ten. <laughs> and would only have a maximum of fifteen jumping reach, by the way. Six foot ten. I, 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 if you need anything off the shelf, he's there. A couple more there's a nineteen year old Finn at Degaforge. Wait. Hang on. He's a face in the game, isn't it? Oh, that might be why that other dude. Maybe Russell Duward is a face in the game. That might be why he's so tall. <clears throat> Don't need that jump reach. Yeah, but that's not what jumping reach means. Jumping reach is the amount of reach you have when jumping, meaning that a shorter player will have lower jumping reach. So it's not about the amount that you can jump. It's about the height overall combined with the jumping, as far as, as, far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm aware. Because <clears throat> if it was solely about how high your feet come off the ground, then a player with like that's five foot two could have like 20 jumping reach, but they don't, do they? Oh, RFS, yes. I'm not expecting much from it, but it's always important to keep things going around. Oh, actually, yeah. Sometimes I get excited when I see like the big report and it's actually got loads of information, but it might just be because they've played in Europe, so they actually have like more information on the team. Uh, right. Wow, he's bad. Four foot eleven, twenty jumping. Yeah, but that that makes that sort of makes sense. It's exactly what I was saying though, Pulse. Right, because. The jumping reach is the amount that you can reach. So it, it doesn't matter on the height. It's about how far up you get, not how far you come off the ground. <clears throat> it's essentially basically saying how far does your head go up rather than how far do your feet leave the ground. Um, hence why all the short players in the game, generally speaking, have really low jumping reach. Because even if they can jump really high, their lack of body length means that they can't get that high in general. Ooh, might be some options in here for us potentially. Do you know if there's a train coming anytime? Yeah, it's weird oh, yes, because very soon. you're right. As you say, yeah, FM literally does not. say that. But I guess they're kind of it's just bad, like nomenclature. It's bad syntax, isn't it? It's not the same thing. No, because say a six foot seven person jumps and their feet leave the ground by a foot, for example, they are now seven foot seven off the ground. So their jumping reach is seven foot seven. If a five foot seven person jumps a foot off the ground, their jumping reach is six foot seven. So they're still a foot below. <laughs> like. That's essentially it. Right. Just That was just a, bit, a bad example, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Yeah, I do like a good six foot... What you want is a nice big jumping reach centre-back. And 15 jumping reach on a guy who's 6'10 is unacceptable. <clears throat> right. Design is intriguing. Ooh. He might be quite fascinating. I mean, he's free. Training schedules. Um, I don't know if RDF did what I don't make my own training schedules because RDF's far better at this, and I'd much rather just piggyback off of his work and promote it excessively. Um, I don't know if he has one for semi-pro. Can't function. Any, uh, when you say can't function, what do you mean by can't function, Willis? Um, I hate to say, what are you talking about, Willis? But I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, it's exclamation mark training, Thomas. Oh, he does have semi-pro ones. Nice. There you go then. If he's nice and cheap, which he's actually got quite a lot of money, but I think. Someone like him would be a nice one. Joe's real name is... What should just be Joe? Joao Oliveira dos Santos. But these are the kind of guys I want loan farmable, right? That's what I'm thinking anyway. Forget how to play football. We've all been there. Uh, right, your phrase. We'll take that. Should be Jots. How to play football like can't score, can't defend. Um, Which season are you in? You say you won everything with Brighton... It could just be bad luck, honestly, because the fact is, if you've won everything with Brian, like Champions League, that means you've got a Champions League winning team. So at that point, the reputation is not going to matter too much and they're going to be treating you the same no matter what, I would have thought. So it feels to me like that's just bad luck, unfortunately, because it's not like they learn your tactics or anything like that. Uh, Sandakan and Willis, thank you very much for the follows, guys. Very kind of you. Right, let's just... Uh... Whoa, there's a lot of players to get some more scout reports on actually here. There's another freebie in there too. I'll just keep scouting these guys for the time it's being. Good, uh, you but you summer. will pick up for free, probably, winter, unless you want stupid amounts of money. Uh, same with um, Valtisia. Get these guys scouted as well. Oh, there's a few quite... This is obviously the Brazilians in there. Yeah, got to restock the freebies a little bit. Exactly. Check Mikey! Thank you for the follow. Uh, we did that. We did that. Nice. Oh, it's Cristiano Ronaldo in there. Yeah, unfortunately, he's... um. 
he wanted quite a lot of money, if I recall, and he was a winger. Although, maybe for the loan farm. Yes, there's a Brazilian Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, did I just delete him from the scout report? He was a guy that came to us, um, I think it was back in January, wasn't it? In the, like, the agent bit. He feels potentially off. Yeah, Fluminense, that's the guy, yeah. Uh... With him, it would depend heavily on how much he wants in wages, like when we actually get him here. Now, we could always knock it down because Brazil, but I'm a little... Oh, actually, he could be a quite tasty loan farmer, potentially. Here's a fun fact. Mm. Voltaire contracted I don't really want the loan farmers being on like £500 a week, really. Not ones that aren't very good anyway. Uh, Expo skill. Thank you. Expo skill. Thank you very much for the follow. Right, get those two guys done. The rest are all extensive, are they not? Hot damn. I think it's because I left a few reports over from last stream. So we'll just go through these, have a little look. The very bottom, there's a couple of really, really bad ones who still want like 500 to 600 pound a week. And I feel like we could do better than them. Right, what else we got? Uh, you're just bad. We'll get rid of you. There's at least a lot of players on here that would in theory talk to us, which is kind of good. Any stupidly cheap ones? Wait, would that guy talk to us yet? No, he can't. So there's a few in here. Like, guys like this, Claudinho at Botafogo. 16 marking. Barely any money. If he doesn't want massive wages... Ah, oh, he's just moved. That's annoying. Li Wait, the Libyan would talk to us, would he? Wait, he wouldn't, would he? Oh my god, he would! Sorry, this is the Libyan guy we've had our eye on for a little bit. Two cats for Libya now as well. I think we've kind of got to act. Even though that's a lot of money, I kind of just want to sign what looks to be like, not a Libyan wonder kid, but loan farm for him. A lot of teams in our league could use a good winger. And I just think having a Libyan player that actually looks like he could be quite decent would be fun, fun, kind of fun. Should I come back Mez? Uh, no, I train him to be a loan farmer, so I keep him as a winger. If we can get, what I would do basically, actually, no, that's not true. What I'd do is I'd see if we can get him alone. If we couldn't get him alone by the end of next season, by the start of next season, like after next summer, then I would try and retrain him because we'd still have plenty of time to do that. But I'd much rather him just be like a lone firm lifer and stay as a winger because it looks like he's such a wing player that I wouldn't want to ruin that by trying to shoehorn him into our team. 34 grand. I mean, that's insane. He's 17 as well, so I'm surprised he'd actually talk to us yet, but it seems like it's sort of softening up a little bit in terms of like the hard lock on players not wanting to actually speak to us. It does seem to be improving slightly. Uh, you guys are a bit too expensive and a bit crap while you're at it. You're 27. How'd you get in here? Give you the player exchange. Uh, basically, transfer list the player, set the value to zero. And then all of a sudden, clubs will start coming in with interest in your players. The, the guys you're trying to loan out, that is. To transfer list them, they won't care most of the time. I haven't had a single one complain about it. Because the, they don't, yeah, they don't really care. Unless they're like a squad player or something like that, they won't care. Because most of these guys are obviously breakthrough prospects, future prospects, youngsters, fringe players, etc. So yeah, that's what you do. Set the value to zero. Obviously, don't do it with players that are like actually really, really good. Because then you'll just get loads of bids from massive sides. And then they'll complain about you not selling them. Just do it with like smaller players, basically. Much higher rep than do. Well, it maybe. But Libyan, they produce some solid players. But that must be it. Uh, right, let me just, uh, hopefully that song went through, because, uh, so, oh my god, I just wish this screen would not reset itself as often. You're a little bit too expensive. Oh, hello, Gil. Did he not talk to us, though? I probably should have clipped here when I explained about it, really, shouldn't I? Mm. Under 21 main team internationals. Uh, we checked at the start of, uh, no, midway through last season. Expertise from a scout. Oh, did I miss this? Sorry, my bad. Scouts find no players after a whole season. Uh, when you say find no players, what are you doing to find players? Uh, as in, what methods are you using in order for your scouts to find players? I uh, know they're not players. They're not finding players. But what uh, what are you doing to help them find players in the first place is what I mean. Sorry. Ooh. Uh, season three. Uh, I think the non-normal part there is you being able to sign Scott McTominay in season three in Malta. I think that's the part that's not normal there. Uh, oh, he's a Jap- Oh, he's a Shija- A Japillion! Hilson Sato. Oh, for those of you that weren't here, a couple of days ago on stream, we found a guy called um, Teco, who was a, a Finnish Brazilian called Tiago Mekanen. <laughs> it's, I love the cross-pollination that you only get with Brazilian- with the Brazilian name pool. Okay, so we got to sign him because of that, right? Hey, Matt's Oh. 
more recognized at a European level. How dare you, Gil? Uh, to be fair, he does play for Fortaleza, but yeah. That's frustrating. I, I are disappointed about that. I was suddenly... More, he, he just added a star to his potential by being fat. Brazilian Irishman. Yes, we did, didn't we? Didn't he actually get Ireland call-ups in the end? It's been going good, Matt. We're trying out a new effort method to improve the um the part exchange part of the seven. It, I say it seems to be working. We haven't actually had any loans go out yet, but there's a lot of promising stuff happening in the background. Uh, these guys are quite expensive. Oh, this is all the OB dudes. He's a bit better. You're quite expensive what i'm looking for in here is the kind of guys that are like 100 to 200 k but actually okay potential not too high wage demands there and then as we scroll further up the list i'm then like oh actually are they just generally good we're supposed to have the budget and the scouts i have them all assigned to individual nation depending on their knowledge yeah so unfortunately hanidi that just doesn't work in fm uh, you'd think that that would be the most basic and most obvious thing to do in scouting in fm you will find it simply doesn't work because like if you were to say to someone on a blank slate be like hey how would you logically think scouting setups would work you'd go i have a scout who has really good knowledge of uruguay so if i send him to uruguay to watch games he's gonna bring me cool hopefully decently scouted uruguayan players right wrong <laughs> yeah unfortunately it just it just doesn't it just doesn't work like that uh, so if what sort of players are you actually specifically looking for here and maybe we can give you some tips as to how to um tailor your scouting to what you're actually trying to accomplish basically um but yeah no if you let me know what exactly you're trying to get but out of the scouting specifically what types of players then we can maybe try and help you with that because there are plenty of ways you can find players but you're right it's silly though isn't it it really is um because you think that's how it should work but no it doesn't that guy might oh he won't talk to us because he's 16 and i think this next batch here oh hang on no there was a brazilian guy in here claudinho he might be it how did you find the? So, so these guys here, the ones that we're looking at right now, these these guys came through team report scouting. So basically, this come from us getting individual team reports on the youth teams of various clubs. In this case, Club Leon. So you'll see it in here, scouting in progress, right? So what that then does is it gives you a report. Let me just show you the OB one. So it will give you a report like this. Admittedly, it will actually have this ability and potential at least somewhat scouted in here, but it only lasts for 30 days. So because this has expired, um, we don't have the, the general knowledge of these players. Oh, that's the wrong squad. Here you go. So you get something like this. So these are the ones that we chose to actually scout a little bit further, and we went from there. And now we're getting a little bit more information about those players. It saves you scouting a lot of crap, basically. Um, you still end up scouting a lot of crap, but it's way easier. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, Claudinho. He would be, I think, an okay option. Oh, wait, didn't I already ask his agent, or did he not have one? No, I think I already asked his agent, didn't I? And he said no. Anyone in here? 1.7 million. 45 grand for Glauber? Oh, 2.4k a week. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> not in a billion years. Strategically, if you like it again. Um, so I use several bits of logic when it comes to doing it. The first thing I will do is I'll go through the national team of each nation uh, that I want to find players from. So let's just take Uruguay as an example with Teixeira here, who... Oh, oh, hello. Swing back around to him in a minute. Um, So what I would do is I'll go to Uruguay, look at their national team, Look at their under 19 squad, or the one that has the most players in. Sort by this. And because this screen allows you to do it, you can right click on the clubs from here and get the team reports of the under 19 squads. So I'll just go through some of the national teams and find which clubs in here are actually producing players worthy of the under 19 national teams. That way you know they've got regens. That's one method. The other thing I do is with my recruitment focuses, whenever my scouts bring me any in progress players in the recruitment focuses, I will get a report on the youth teams of the teams in there as well. That way over time it just slowly builds up. And then every time a report comes through, you get, you just send that report to the back of the queue again. So you get like a kind of conveyor belt of reports coming through, basically. It's my favorite type of scouting. Once you reach a certain point, it becomes so powerful. Uh, right. Some of these guys actually look kind of interesting. These guys are a bit too expensive. For, I mean, I say too expensive. They could be cheap. You just don't know. So scouts are busy, even I can't prioritize player. Yeah, so if you're looking for Wadakis and your Spurs, team report scouting for a one thing. Um, the other thing is um, the recruitment focus is specifically the type that Iron Owl makes. So exclamation mark. Basically, there's two videos you want, Hanidi. Exclamation mark team reports in chat will get you the video about how to do the team report scouting. And exclamation mark RF will give you the recruitment focuses that James uses and I use them as well. Those two things should give you all you need, basically. Quick and easy to choose. Um, sort of, Dan. Uh, let me just get through the scout report and we'll revisit that because Taz did add some stuff in it this year, but the game still makes it quite difficult for you, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, he's probably a bit too much. You won't talk to us yet, although 
If obviously if anyone's amazing, I will have a closer look. So for example, this dude here. Uh, there you go. That's the one you want. Club Leon. Good mentals. Do you know what? If he's not hyper expensive, never mind. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Didn't you say you were talking? Oh, so it's lied to us. No, in fairness, this might be because I left these reports a little bit longer than I should have done. That's disappointing. He's 18 and wants £900 a week. From Hammubby. Oh, doesn't have an age. Wait, approach to sign. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. Compensation zero. Freebie, youngster. Don't mind if I do. I think we could probably get him down a little bit with Sweden caps. Because I don't think he's going to be good enough for Sweden. But I reckon a, a five-year contract on £700 a week I'll do. On a free, right? So the RF1 is already in chat. There's a limit to how many times you can post it, basically. But the, the two videos should now be linked in chat for you. Oh, believe me, with, with you being at Spurs and ED, you'll find so many fucking players. Because you love worldwide scouting and you'll have decent scouts as well. Also, don't worry about, like, which scout you assign the team reports to. Because you're going to be looking at them with your proper scouts anyway. And you can only get a certain amount. Uh, the homegrown situation is fine now. We signed loads of players that fit those requirements. And as a result, we've got... And we've also got loads of under-21 chaps. So it's kind of made it really easy for us. Teixeira's not going to talk to us, is he? He's very good, though. Jumping reach is a little iffy. But he actually has good defensive ten poles. Can't hurt to ask his agent. Yeah, we're not quite at the level to be able to sign those guys. What about you? This is just me, right? Or does he look... I would arguably worse than that Libyan player. In fact, not even... I think he just is worse. And he costs loads of money. What about Igor Pala... Yeah, the thing is, with him being at Lecce... I mean, he's fucking amazing. Let's not beat around the bush. He's unbelievable. Oh, wingback. Yeah, okay. Weirdly, would talk to us, but 12 grand a week. Not happening. Right, cool. <laughs> We got there in the end. Right, let's actually have a look up some of the players. Uh, sorry, that took me a little while there. Uh, sadly, no Minoru Suzuki. Uh, there is randomly Sean Miners. Uh, surely he should be the youth team coach there, but oh uh, well, there you go. Crispy. There's a few. Oh, there's one. There you're right. Ely Crispy. There he is. Real player as well. Sadly, no Crispy Mama Gluttons. You hate to see it. But there he is. I'll refund your points for that one. That's a silly one. Uh, and oh, actually, Danny, you're a nice, easy one because you're on you're on trial here at the moment as we try to find you a new club. Daniel, thank you for the follow. But there you are. Well, I mean, the names alone seem like it could happen in the Japanese name pool, right? Suzuki. There'll certainly be players called Suzuki. The issue I think with people like Danny and Hadrian is unfortunately that oh, I love that you're actually improving the wage demands are too high um i went over it in the recap video but basically you want like seven grand a week to be a like a really average player for us i'm hoping that we can wait oh shit i just signed was a player ah which which club was that i bet you that was Hi um hydara or not hydara um watara or something he looked like he was the type of player that was likely to turn down a move right Got to be careful with these guys, just in case. There we go. But these are the exact type of players that will be perfect for the loan farm. And I reckon they're the exact type of players that not only will be perfect, but we won't have to do any kind of extra work to get them out on loan. I reckon they're the kind of guys that will come in, we'll offer them out the normal way a few times, and they'll just go out on loan. Uh, reject you... Reject you as well. I might just leave the loan thing in there, actually, because I think we could probably make that work. I would love to do some tests at some point to see whether that actually does have an... an in, whether there is an impact made by having the promise to get a loan for the player, whether that actually attracts more loan interest, because I haven't seen any information to suggest that it does or doesn't. And I'd like to sort of... At some point, I'd like to do an actual experiment with that. Reject loan back. Oh, they accepted. Please don't want too much money. Breakthrough prospect. All right. Let's see. That's good for the squad status. Oh! Well, that's even fucking better. Now, we've got to be careful because... Actually, I'll put that up to like 2 point... Fuck it, I'll put that up to like 3k. Because he's got caps, so we can't really do much with that. But I do want long-term job security here. And I'm also going to give him like a 60k signing on fee. Wait, what? 
Hey, what? You asked for... Oh, for fuck's sake, not one of these idiots. Oh, I, ha oh, I just have to agree with it. That's one of those stupid ones where they come in with a certain amount of money and then you agree to what they want and they go, no, 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 no. We actually want three times that. We should have said. It's like, why don't you just fucking say that then? And then that, like, it's your fault. That's really annoying. That did look a bit too good to be true. Um, right. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. We didn't get the guy from Hammerby. For some reason, I thought that Mark Vembram might have been one of the uh, guys. We oh, speaking of Hammerby. Just random. Oh, at least it's a Wednesday, I suppose. <laughs> right. Next salary review. <laughs> Just like, Actually, I forgot to mention I want triple my money. <laughs> Sorry, boss. <laughs> yeah, that is that is the Swedish guy. You're right. I thought it was just one of the other deals falling through. Uh, yeah, but that's just all Australian clubs again. Yeah, 18 grand for that. Uh, yeah, congratulations on the new job, Tim. That's really, really awesome. Ooh. Wait, hang on. You have three caps already? Oh, I mean, he's definitely getting scouted. Like, bro has three caps for Moldova at the age of 17. And he's on a part-time deal at Sheriff Tiraspol here. We could definitely sneak on in there. Uh, oh, nine, I don't know if we have them on the scouting, actually. I, I, every time I scout, like, um, Christ, who is it? Is it Den Haag? No, it's Groningen. We always find loads of insane part-time players and amateur contracts, but they'll never fucking talk to you, and it's so annoying. Uh, I am, however, going to add them to the list as well, because same reason. You get a lot of these um, sort of amateur or part-time contracts in here as well, which is just really, really cool. Have they won anything in the say? No. Uh, Roger Meyer is in charge, although I suspect that's possibly still the real-life manager. Except no matter what... They yes, it is, uh, Moti. Uh, well, I mean, you say you hope you can fix it, just don't use it. Like, um, But yes, they probably will fix it with the winter update, but I don't know why people are acting like it's... I mean, obviously, you don't want to glitch like that in the game, but no one's forcing people to use the glitch, are they? Um... Also, Dirk Proper, I recognise that name. Has he played outside of... Oh, no, I was thinking of Davy Proper. Because he was a... Was he at Everton? Right, cool. I also love doing... When we do your club lookups, because it's just another team I can add onto the scouting list. And sometimes, particularly with places like that, perfect. Was it Brighton? Oh, it was Brighton, wasn't it? Yeah. Who was the guy that was at Everton? I swear there was a guy that was at... Oh, it was Davy Clarson. I was thinking of. Watch before he was at Brighton as well. Rots County, as you say, is weird for that. Um, they, for some reason, produce loads of random... Uh, non-contract players we don't know why they do it but we always check ross county for that exact reason i don't believe there's any changes i need to make here i think this is the same because we had so many spaces that i could just add anyone i liked in really yeah there is david problem yeah i think these guys are all have i yeah cespedes is also on that list i love that matthew side immediately counts because he's an actual home -growny that just comes in straight away that's just cool. Right, cool. Oh, did Hammer and Luke? Oh, yeah, we didn't look at Hammer and did we? 4 1. Ah. Do you know what? They've given it a go there. 4 1's a little bit harsh on them, but they were always going to lose to Sevilla, right? Oh, yeah. Wrong with the Academy rating. So uh, there's nothing wrong with the Academy rating, but, like, for example, if you go to, say, what is it? World Clubs like this. This is the page you're on about, presumably, right? Um, so yeah, this is how you see the academy rating here. Some of the stuff that Sass was able to add in. So it's really useful when you're looking for youth, uh, for like affiliate clubs, for example, to be able to click on look at this sort of stuff here. But that's the screen I was on about. It works fine. It's just that not all the stuff that you can display in this bit is actually able to be copied onto this screen. It's FM being silly as per, basically, if I recall. Sass will surely correct me on that, but I believe that's the reason why you haven't got it all on that screen. You have to drag some of it through from the other. Strange. Good list for team reports too. Um... To an extent, yes. But bear in mind, that just lists every single club. So any list of every club is going to be helpful for that. But yeah, the problem is that it doesn't guarantee they're producing players. The reason I do it the way I'm doing is because if I'm getting a player from that club in my scout report, I know that the club has got players. This saves you from just having scouting loads of teams where their youth team is just empty. But yeah, there's loads of different ways to find the good players and each to their own, right? Seven, ooh, I need to start. Once we've done this round, I'm going to start setting everyone available for these games because I do want to build up some match fitness. Let's just check, see if there's any new interest. Vinicius again? Nah. Matthew Pace, that's already happening, hopefully. Malaika. I keep getting my hopes up when I see him. You're already under a bid. 
Rodriguez. Nah, he was already under a bid, wasn't he? Oh, no, it's the same one. Fuck. Oh, hello. There we go. Milojevic. That's a new one, I think. Okay. Dragon with Milojevic wants to go. Well, in theory, he's wanted by who? Oh, he's not bad, actually. Okay. Hibernians. Would you like another player? We'll take that bet. They're taking their time trying to, like, convince us. And I suspect, as Martini said, like, it's because the amount of money I'm offering those players is relatively low, so they're taking their time over it. Christ. Hibernian won a lot of our guys. I wonder if it's because Hibernian have a lot of wage budget available, whereas a lot of the other clubs in our league don't. Now, obviously, these are loans, and a lot of the time, we're not actually asking for any money, but I suspect it's because they're actually coming in with, in theory, transfer offers instead. So that's probably why they're only going for those ones. Okay, cool. So if I've been here, got a few of these. It's really strange, Saz, isn't it? That it lets you pull it into a pop-up on that page, but not the actual page itself. So, so damn dumb. Uh, yep. Cool. Oh, so just can it. Go on. Oh, wow. That is not, not good at all. Right, Rebel Salzburg. We've got a... Any new? Oh, 24 in progress. So yeah, for those of you who are looking... Although, we already did that one. But yeah, basically what I would do is, when I get the in progress bit through and it's like loads of players, obviously these aren't greyed out, which means we've looked at them already. But I'll just go through this list. Right click on the clubs in here and get the reports from that one as well. To give them cash. True. But obviously we don't really have the cash to make that happen at the moment. Like, as much as we have cash, I don't want to spend too much of it on that because especially with the inevitable price drops coming pretty much at the end of the season, I assume, right? It has to be end of 2023. Sorry, 2031. Oh, oh yes. Joe's in. He won't join us till next summer, but I'm really surprised that we were able to pick up Hassan al Kamaji because I think he could actually be really decent. Maybe low adaptability. Balanced personality isn't awful, but for me, he looks like the best Libyan player I've seen that age group anyway now whether he has the potential ceiling i don't know but i'm excited because he's libyan it just makes it cooler right so tune by the way joe's in which means dev list transfer room normal just straight up normal approach no need for silly bollocks i think we should be able to get a lot of these guys out the normal way i think that's my theory anyway uh these are a lot of the brazilian players that were in on trial Got to keep an eye out for the Patreon regions because I don't want those guys to expire as well. Because some of them are slightly off kilter. So he's in as well. Oliveira is in as well. Just little bits of money here and there. Like, yeah, he's only three star, but that could be a good signing for a for a second tier team. Not sorry, second, not signing, but like a, a loan option for a second tier team. And we do need to start building up some of the other clubs as well. Bit of that. Oliveira. Oh, wow. Okay. Slightly better. I think his attributes are just kind of all right. I reckon a couple of offers out, and these guys possibly will get loan offers. Now that the whole thing just seems to have improved. Willian has gone to Moster. Not that one, though. Twazak, thank you for 40 fucking six months. Hello. That's a, an insane amount. Thank you, friend. How's your Sunday back in Essex? Come through in max wage demand. Uh, yeah, so that's a glitch, Danny. I believe it actually means that... Ooh, okay. That's nice to have. God, if we're getting 700 grand for that, the other teams must be getting a good amount as well, which makes me happy. You got the golden kappa. No way. That's actually sick. Cespedes impresses. Good win for us there. Oh, PSV. There's going to be loads of players in here, but just like... Good Lord. See how Vlemings. Jesus, he's insane. Um, Yeah, he he's absolutely outr outrageous. Yeah, so basically there was a load of Brazilian guys that were free, so we just think there was literally no harm in us just trialing them, and a load of them have now been picked up by Maltese side, because it suddenly puts them on the radar. Also, what a brilliant name. Cerezo Yongapin. Lovely. Only to do with multiple UCL winning clubs. I don't know, honestly. Uh, it feels like the sort of stat that Dan would know all about. Watara Stumpsy Bernius. Right, great. Does that mean that Okay, so the first one of those hasn't worked out. However, wasn't that one a twofer? So if I now remove Wataro, uh, not Wataro. Yeah, if I now take out Wataro, do they still want Platias? They do. Okay, so we might be able to get that one out. Dan, is it true that Milan is the only, until last season, Milan was the only club with multiple UCL winning clubs? Only club? Only city, rather. Starting more games. Bruv, we haven't played any games since I last changed your squad status, you silly man. 
Uh, oh, fuck off. Just actually screw us. I hate that. We haven't played any more matches. Uh, so that's going to have to go back through again. I suppose we did play that one game. But hang on, he's regular starter. They're in again. Oh, here we go. It's working, chat. Here we go. Matthew Pace is going on loan to Goodyear United for the next two years. Boom. One done. Borg. Jonas Ehrlich is going to Birkikara for two seasons. Boom. That's a really good piece of it. Like, Ehrlich, is, he's not good enough for us anymore, but I think he'd be really solid for someone like Birkikara. Get in. Uh, no, my frame frames are actually decent for once. Right, that's two done. Let's just check the list again. See if there's any new interest. Joe. There you go. Floriana want a bit of Joe. Do not hate uh, Vinicius is still wanted by the usual clubs. God, I wish... Actually, let me just expand this out a little bit more. It's just occurred to me that I was, <laughs> it wasn't getting the full out of it. JCL, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, Platius is already under a bid. Rodriguez is already wanted, but that's just by Chinese clubs. Khalifa, that's just Western Sydney Wanderers again. Okay, progress. Yes, you can. You can extend those loans just like you can any normal loan. Uh, Joe's already been offered out right now, isn't he? I can't actually... Or can I? Let's try that. You should just you should be able to turn down the stream quality as well because um, as a Twitch partner, I get priority transcoding, so you should be able to control that yourself as well. But right, yes, exactly. So if you're buying a player, loan them out to other clubs in your league. They develop, but they also improve the quality of the clubs that you're loaning them to. Um, sometimes they stay out there, sometimes they come back. Either way, it's like kind of a net benefit for every. Yeah. Tell a pedophile. No, unfortunately not. Do you remember that time when a player came to me and he said he wanted to go out on loan, and the game provided me two options, neither of which was saying yes, you could go out on loan. <laughs> like I had two options, and they were both no. <laughs> Even though it was a player that I wanted to loan out. Oh my god. Oh, this will be fine. These ones are actually okay. Because I can just say, um, I want him to play because I literally do want him to play. So he'll just get football. Uh, uh, Gonzalo Reich. Thank you very much for the follow. Want to buy the player the loan? Yes. The, um, as in, are you doing the thing that I'm doing where you've got them set to transfer listed and zero pounds? Because if that's the case, then yes, that's absolutely what will happen. But then all you do is instead of letting them buy them, you just offer them to the club for loan instead during the part exchange thing. They will still want them for loan as well, I've noticed. Uh, just It seems to be more often that they want the full transfer, which makes sense because you are essentially transfer listing them. Sometimes I'll actually just outright bid for them too. Look for a chance to play? Yeah! Like, he should know that there's loads of games coming up. I might have to start him for the second leg just to appease him a little bit. Right. Hang on, nobody wants Shrout, but it literally says that Floriana want him. Oh, I see. That's a different one, isn't it? Let's buy him uh, because we just paid for the players and... Often what will happen is the player will just turn down their contract when you try to do that. Ah, so he didn't get one. But that's fine. So with him, transfer listed. Prefer to take the club. Doesn't care. Zero pounds. Boom. Now we should get some interest in him as well. Oliveira. Actually, with these guys, I might try them out a second time. On the normal method as well, because it does work. Sometimes you've got to persist with it a bit more. Let me just try and offer him out again. But yeah, so some of them, if you're if they're free, you can kind of get away with it like we used to. But if you're actually paying for the player, and the best thing about them having you having them on loan is that you can control their contracts as well. Won't you be able to loan even better players as the team gets stronger from buying the players off you? Uh, well, the team gets stronger from loaning players off us too. So, what's the difference? As in, the team doesn't care whether the player's on loan or on. Did I accidentally just? Oh no, that's because I set him for transfer, didn't I? Yeah, that's my bad. As in, the squad depth isn't decided whether the players are permanent transfers or not. It's just what the quality of the squad is. So if the player's on loan, it still counts as having a good squad. So it's better to have control for me than... Like, obviously, I don't mind them having good players on permanent deals. But the problem is, if you send them a load of players that... Yeah, it's it's crazy, the gap, isn't it? Oh, right. I need to make sure I extend these trials once it comes to an end. So Ferrugia's in. I forget which one's that. Oh, so that was Platius. Ah, there we go. Floriana are in for Joe. And that was just the old school method. There was that was no like we didn't even have to do anything that time. It's just sign a player. Floriana won a piece. There he goes. Love to see it. I think I just need to check every couple of days. Just check this list because they do seem to be popping up and it just doesn't tell you who's he wanted by. Oh Benfica. <laughs> yeah, not happening. Uh, any newbies? So knowing that the wanted icon just appears at random, it just seems to like hide 
I'm sure there is like a logic to which ones go where, as you can see. But it is a bit of a pain in the ass to actually find out which one's which. Ooh, Vinicius to Hamrun as well. Lovely. Don't mind a bit of that. He'd be very good for Hamrun. Or at the very least, straight into the loan farm. Uh, right. So, one of our few others. A significant potential to break into the first team. Nice. Wages. Uh, so, we're up to nearly 6 million now. Uh, Hamrun are about 5 million. The rest are between 800,000 and 1.5 million. Is Vinicius, is it? No. Uh, I don't believe so, anyway. That was a different guy. I think he's already gone. If I recall, that Vinicius is actually already playing for another multi side. I just can't remember who. One thing I've also noticed with this version as well is they seem to not want enormous amounts of um, money to make the deals work either because they're actually interested in the player, so you don't have to, like, force it. So 21k. I mean, it's, it's okay. The guy called Harren. Do they? Was he in their first team squad? They've also got a Dylan Pace. The Pace Brothers expansion. Was he just outright called Harren? God, that team is actually kind of decent, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Oh, Skopje. Yeah, Vinicius was the Polish Brazilian dude. Oh, hello. Albeit 20, but amateur contract. Uh, definitely scouting him. Now, he might be one of those guys that we've multiple times tried to sign and he's just demanded like nine grand a week or something wild. Oh, thank you, Alpha Toger. That's very kind of you, friend. How many Europe? They technically are, but they're playing severe in the playoff round. So we they, they lost 4-1 at home. You know, they're, they're not going to qualify, unfortunately. But they got there and we've still got some decent coefficient points on the board. Back to Thursday's one. See you there, my friend. Oh, yes, that glitch in it. Are we into, like, mid-80s on... Oh, hang on. Who? Was he must have been someone we lined up last... Yeah, okay, fine. We'll try him then. Right, dev list. Offer via transfer room. Loan offer. Malta. See if we can get him one as well. It's the old-fashioned way. Ramos is... I mean, bro, I would love to loan you out, but... All right, fine. Let's just try an old-fashioned jobby on you. At least this list is where he'll, like, get... Who's that one? Ah, oh, there you go. Another one. They wanted the players. They're getting them. So they're getting Diego Dario and Malik Keita on loan for two years as a result of that one. Cool. Negative 400k. Ah. Um, that would suggest you're scouting players that are not in your scouting range. Damn, Mas North Macedonia. Produced... Oh, yeah. Produced some decent players in this save, man. E and take preview. Yeah. Although, last year... I mean, look who we got last year. We got Matthew Side. I'll happily take that. Wittercasts, thank you for the 25 months. How the devil are you, my friend? Hello, Chato and Matto. Your antivirus was flagging it as... <laughs> Hang on, your antivirus flagged itself as suspicious. Trust no one, not even yourself, basically. Um, hello, this is an interesting report. There's some, definitely some promising options in here for us. Some... Of the wow, it's a lot of players we don't know anything about. Oh, is that Jordanian? Or is that UAE? It might be UAE actually. It might explain his insane price. Hello, slugs. Yeah, they seem. And one thing I've noticed about the Macedonian players is they do seem to be very expensive in terms of wages. Anyway, uh, oh, cheap guy here. Oh, that was Arneson. You're too expensive. You're too expensive. You intrigued by. You're too expensive. You, I'm intrigued by. You're too expensive. Actually, no, you might be worth a look. Nah, you're just too expensive. <laughs> Scottish one again. Well, this is the thing. We actually got what I would consider to be a very workable player in our youth intake last year, despite it being a crap youth intake. Intriguing. 15, so he's never going to talk to us, but... What about you? Nahuel Barrios. Mm. I just don't think he's worth three grand a week, basically. Workable guy. Hang on one sec. I'll show you in a minute. Let me just, uh, ooh, what's that? Oh, Dark Shout, thank you for continuing their prime or tier, uh, uh, or, or gift to a tier one. That's so kind of you, friend. Oh, it was a prime. It's really, really nice of you. Uh, in fact, fuck it, I'll show you them now. We'll come back to these two because I want to sign up both of these chaps. To Friday with it, finally recommended. Yeah, I, I don't know what that was about, Volta Rob. It didn't, didn't really do very well, but I, I'm, the response on the video was fantastic. Like, everyone has been so fucking nice about it, but it is what it is, right? I, I'm still proud of it. 
right? I don't. I very rarely like the things I do, but I'm proud of that. Uh, yeah, this was the guy. This was the youth intake player we got, Matthew Side. I mean, tell me he doesn't look like an actual potential first teamer one day. He's still only 16. Like when he came through, it was three and a half stars, but they've now actually upgraded that to four, which is probably about right. And not just the fact that like, okay, yeah, he doesn't have the highest potential, but it's the fact that his attributes are actually workable, right? We try as a centre-back. Uh, I don't really want a nine-pace centre-back, honestly, that can't really head a football. To me, the reason I would never train him as a centre-back is because he can't head a football. Like, his attributes are, as you say, good for that, but he's not going to get his heading up enough in his career to actually be workable in that, really. Um... It, libero passing and vision aren't amazing for me he's a good halfback which is exactly where we're going to play him like his mentals need a lot of work but he's obviously 16 like he's a halfback for us it's nice to have a tall one in there at least yeah no we, we do use cdms as well um we have a cdm halfback so to me he feels like the perfect long-term solution for that spot the fact that he's got on both feet as well i really like which just gives me more on the ball out of him like his his mentals will improve with time i've got him working on his defensive positioning at the moment because we can hit his marking and his positioning and obviously defensive positioning is one of the easiest things to improve in fm first of june uh you have to do it second of june it's the second of june is the date that it, you do it Although it will depend on what nation you're managing in because obviously different nations have different expiry dates for contracts and not every player will actually have it on them because their contract might be expiring and various other things. We two syllables, uh, Saeed. Uh, no, it won't. Uh, because as I said, uh, someone with the exact name literally DM'd me to tell me how it's pronounced. <laughs> um, so it's pronounced Saeed. Well, that was what they told me anyway. And they're Maltese, so I'm, I'm going to trust their opinion on that one. Uh, let's see. I was surprised too. Uh... Oh, that's yeah that's perfect nice and cheap lovely old job the aerial battles yeah he'll win the aerial battles he just won't be the most accurate with the headers which is fine but if i was going to play him as a center back i'd want him to have better heading ability but unfortunately as you know with fm this year and headers center backs don't really do heading yeah no to be fair Harry, i was surprised as well i figured it had to be either said or saeed but no it's actually side unless it's just a sped up version of saeed let's be honest Maltese people, help me out. Uh, Arneson. If he doesn't want huge money. Oh. Fine. Screw you. We'll take him instead. Ah, oh, dear. 90 grand. Obviously, now that we're doing this longer term, I want longer contracts on the... In fact, I think he'll just accept that, won't he? Yeah. No silly boss. No silly bollocks required. How many loanies have we got out now? 84. I reckon we could maybe get close to like... I reckon if we could get above 90 by the end of this window, I would be very pleased with that, considering where we were. Uh, right, second leg. Ugh. Good luck. Uh, do I even want to make any changes? Uh, yes, I do. I want a Fifi in. Uh, sorry, out instead of long for, long... for Longy. For my long boy. For my Julie. I'm also going to start um, Andoy today just to please him because i just don't see us getting through this and if we are he's actually a slightly better defensive player for this one sam marino having difficulty sending players up for the side every time i player exchange with clubs once the player that rejects the contract um unfortunately are you doing the new thing where the player is transfer listed and set to zero for a start that that will help you um in many senses but also what season are you in are you professional versus the other clubs in your league how much better are you than them there's a lot of factors that take place and i think the biggest issue is a lot of people wait too long to start the loan farm and then you end up sort of having to catch up and that could be very tough. And to be fair, we did the same thing in this save. We actually got too far ahead of ourselves as well and it took us like two years of freebies basically to try and get ourselves back to the level playing field. But now we are kind of there again. I feel like any player we sign now, there's a, I would say there's an 80% chance at least of them getting a loan spell. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, we did get spanked in the first leg, but it's put us in a tough spot where I just don't see us being able to progress but we're not asked i would still like to maybe draw this game or something though if we can they're just a better team than us as well at least we owe them though sometimes losing has its, has its benefits chat in before this now gets copyright claimed i still can't believe that's happened twice now in this save to have parts of the stream randomly copyright claimed by uefa for the champions league music but we play it like every stream multiple times and it's supposed to be exempt from the copyright thing for obvious reasons Oh, 
Right, so this is the uh, playoff round. Oh, you get your own version. Nice. Holy, he's good. But he really, but he kind of really is your version, isn't he? He's even got the f 19 aggression as well. Love to see it. The play time isn't often high enough. Um, there's loads of other reasons for it. One of the biggest reasons is that they don't think that the squad that they're moving to is good enough for them to play. So uh, as in, uh, they feel like they're above it. And that's one of the biggest issues with loan farms in building a nation saves. If you wait too long, everyone's professional. I have one star rep, other clubs have half star rep. Um, it's it's so difficult to diagnose without actually being in the save, generally speaking. But sometimes, genuinely, it's just a case of uh, with the part exchange method. By the way, oh my god, we're in front. Are you have you done the set transfer list and set to zero value part as well? Because I feel like that's extremely important. Fake claims. Um, I don't know because it goes through Twitch and they don't tell you that information. You have. I would say just keep trying it. If the club's still interested, keep trying to do it. Because for some reason I've noticed that sometimes players will just randomly accept it the second time. But there's not much more I can give you on that one because I feel like we kind of... Yeah, it might just be that it's too low for any kind of real um, benefit to happen. Uh, but we lead and Melbourne's done it again. That's 11 goals this season and we've not played a single league game yet, which is crazy to me. Go on, Kamga. Oh, oh that's great football. Oh my God, it's two. It's 2-0. Wait, how is... Oh, was Kamga offside? No, he wasn't. It's 2-0. <laughs> Chelsea results yesterday? I have no idea. Who did Chelsea play? I'm not a Chelsea fan, so I don't really pay much attention to what Chelsea are up to, honestly. Um, that was a lovely... Look at this little ball back inside. Oh, that's such nice football. Melman's there again. Oh, City. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I did. I think I actually watched the highlights of that. How the hell didn't City score more goals in that game? It's still like Cooper, Holland had about a thousand chances. <laughs> I'm just going to be distracted there. Guards, thank you very much. Well, Holly, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Um, We're 2-0 up in Austria. Is this Longello? That's a lot of space that goalkeeper's left us there. And oh, Longello! <laughs> the Melman has decided to deliver us Champions League football here, potentially. And I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. I saw, saw 1.88 on a different account, but that's still an insane amount. Um, no one's got 12 goals. <sighs> yeah, I saw that Nicholas Jack... Now that I think about it, I actually did what... Yeah, Nicholas Jackson had that great chance as well, didn't he, where he got it caught under his feet. Um, I still feel like we're probably done, not going to get through in the grand scheme. Oh, what's Longello doing? Oh, get there, get there, get there. Oh, he should have got there. Oh, this is going... Deflecting it out. Oh, it's just in. Thomas Kretschmar, it's three all on aggregate. We got us. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of teams would like him, but. I don't know. Just, have they even got any like space left in the squad? I did want to see someone describe Nicholas Jackson as cardio man, uh, which, yeah. He's. Uh, I don't know. They just keep signing lots of players, don't they? Sideless Drogba. To be fair, the, oh, speaking of Drogba, this is my new bit. You'll enjoy, this is one that's to annoy Pog. Every mild annoyance now, I go full Didier Drogba after the uh, Barcelona-Chelsea game. It's a fucking disgrace. That's my new bit. And that's been, um, potential, that's been annoying Pog for the last couple of days. Again, you may use. Back to 2-1 here. I can see Melman grabbing another one. He's making some lovely runs today. Go on. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, it's all the way through. It's 3-1! Palacio on the end of it. And Doi's been fantastic today, by the way. Like, <laughs> I know that Vida's been, like, creating so many chances and no one's taken it. We're 3-1 up in Austria. And, and Doi's got two. Well, two assists, anyway. That was literally wing back to wing back. But look at that. He just creates the space. Look at that for a cross. Oh, it clips off our defender. Not defender. It clips... I swear that came off Melman's foot there. Is he actually going to get credited with the assist there, Doi? Yeah, he is. <laughs> I swear that hit Melman's foot. Uh, we're in front again. Melman's bagged 12 goals already. I still don't know if this is... This is just one of these games where we just turn up. Oh, fucking hell. Um, and Doi's doing very well considering his lack of match fitness as well. I love that he's... I think he's already got like three assists this season compared to Vida's none. <sighs> Something Dwight... Get, wait, Dwight Gale's still playing? How old is Dwight Gale? He's probably like 26 now. I've said that. You're right. I feel like there's... It's one of these games when FM kind of goes off the... What's our like, XG like in this game? Yeah. <laughs> we should not be three goals. But hey, that's life in it, right? Think Sturmgratz. 
It does feel a bit Magic FM, and I'm totally here for it. You just as well I don't have my luck, my 90s playlist on. Hmm. Um, we should be in front. 3-1 perhaps a little bit harsh on Salzburg, but we take it. But we're actually winning this. I'm still not sure we're quite... Yeah, I feel like this is the kind of game where, like, I think there's going to be another three goals in the second half here. And there's one of them. Uh, Alexa Tursic makes it four all on aggregate. How fun do we lost two one at home to Aston Villa, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Having in a miracle. They're not getting a miracle. They're four one down from the home leg. Unless they're going to win by three goals to nil in Sevilla. That looked like it clipped off the wall, but somehow didn't deviate from its original trajectory. Oh my God, kickoff goal. Chat, we're going to do the kickoff glitch. No, I, mean, I don't care if we win or lose this game uh, because no matter like either we get in the Champions League and we're happy because loads of money or we go into the Europa League and loads of coefficient points so it's kind of a free hit for us in many ways but the players apparently really want to be in the Champions League next year <laughs> that's offside right this is a very long highlight like a concerningly long highlight I really hope they don't get two goals directly from each other like Score a goal, take the kickoff, score again. That would be very FM in fairness. That's a... Yeah, this should be okay. Defender should have that. Oh, Christ, that's not... Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Holy damn. It's going okay, Gover. We're actually currently, well, level pegging with Red Bull Salzburg. We lost the home leg, but we're now winning the away leg. And playing okay. We've not been as good in the second half, though. Mataro struggled again a little bit today. Ooh, how did he get through him there? He's gone through Tony Sunday's body. Like, what's Tony supposed to do? It's a fun fact. Ah, it's well, frustrating. So fuzzy. Thank you very much for the fuzzle. For the fuzzle. Thank you for the fuzzle. I appreciate that. Oh, Christ. Well, that's fine. Breakaway chance. Come on, Jewel. Launch it for Henners. Or just get... That's a red card. Kretschmar's gone. Hello. Salzburg down to 10. Kretschmar's just absolutely murdered Jewel Longello. Is he actually hurt? Nah, he's just faking. Good boy. It might be John time. To be fair, if there's one man that you want in these types of games, it is John. And Longello's thankfully not hurt. Wow, Jorgens has had a dreadful day. I might even get Thrasos on for a bit. Plasio's done well, and Doi's done well. I might get Vida on for a little bit now, just because I do want to... I want to get him some... Yeah, I want to get my chance. Um, I mean, with 10 men, we should really be kicking on here. Henry, I'm thank here you for the before going back to the VODs. 30 months of this silly little man staring at the silly little men on the screen. Oh, it's offside. Holy, thank you, Henry. That's very kind of you, friend. Um, That was very unfortunate. That was very lucky that we got away with that. That could have easily been potentially the winner for Red Bull Salzburg. I have a horrible feeling we're going to lose this on penalties. Yeah, what a double save from Burnt. I think I might have hit the defender the second time. But either way, great defending in the end. Ooh. I might make... Yeah, I'm going to wait till extra time and then go for the subs. We've not been very good in the second half. We've kind of just struggled a little bit. Uh, right. I might set up some changes now because Pierre's struggled and it's going to have to be Daoud again, but we'll move Longello over. And then... Options, options, options. I think Tony Sunday could do with a rest. We'll get Boiling Fanny on. The problem is the rest, it's kind of... Actually, Jar Jar for Palacio because he's just fresh legs. I don't really want to mess with the centre backs too much because the rest of these are either strikers or centre backs, and I think that was our last sub anyway. Oh no, yeah, it was. That'll have to do. A ten would help. Uh, what do you mean? Ten what? Oh fuck! Full coefficient for the W now. Um, how do you mean? I mean, like we. Yes, you're right. Yeah, even if... That's a good point. Yeah, even if we go out now, we still get the, the win for the coefficient. In fact, hello. Oh, wait. Go on, knock it down. Longello, this is a chance for us here. Go on. Jar Jar cuts inside. Jar Jar! Jar Jar scored. <laughs> no way. An AM. Yeah, well, we don't use an AM. So there'd be no point, no point in us changing the tactic in extra time in a Champions League playoff game. It just seems like... Is that something people do all the time? Just go, hmm, I've got this tactic that's working. Let me just break it right in extra time here. Look at this, little cut inside onto his left foot, ironically. <laughs> He's cut it from his left foot onto his left foot. <laughs> Good stuff. Brought on Boiling Fanny. I'm confused. Boiling Fanny is a DM. 
I brought him on in the DM spot because he's a DM. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, right, we're in front. Come on. 15 more minutes. It looks like Champions League is on the cards here. Red Bull Salsa were like, no, we want the car fishing points, damn it. Oh, that's a pass. Go on, John. Finish it. Oh. Well, that was a lovely little chop inside there. It's a shame that he then just gave up on the ball. <laughs> but there you go. Come on, chat. You know me. I don't change the tactic unless there's a damn good reason for it. And there very rarely is. Like, I like what, the way we're playing. I like the style of football we're playing at the moment. Why would I break it? Unless I'm absolutely desperate, which I'm certainly not. There's just no reason to. Oh, please, no. Oh, nicely done. Oh, no. We're giving it away again. Champions League draw. It'll be after this game. Well, I say that. It'll be after this game, providing we're in it. Oh, slip it through. Come on. He's offside, isn't he? No, he's not. John to kill the tie. John to... Why? <laughs> in any way. John Guerrero wraps up the tie, and we are going to be in the Champions League group stages for the second year in a row. Considering John is one of the fastest players in this squad, he sure doesn't look like it when he's running with the ball, does he? It's another... Oh, that was so tight. Look how quickly uh, Guindo actually gets back in here, and all he does is succeed in blocking it past his own goal. <laughs> Bit slow. He has 17 pace. <laughs> that guy makes a long busting run all the way back, only to deflect it into his own goal. <laughs> oh. How much dribbling? Um. 14? Oh, it's actually. Oh, it's only 13 pace, in fairness. I, I tell a lie, it's only 13 pace. I got confused by his... Uh... Either way, he still looks slow as fuck when he's on the ball. What we're through. Ah. So we go above him? No. Well, unless there's a man in the loft that I don't know about. <laughs> mm. I've lied to you, chat. You've been deceived. Uh, that's a hell of a result. Wow. Game shouts for. Uh, yeah, for me, it's encourage and praise. That's it. That's all I use. Hey, we finally managed to beat the XG monster. We'll take it. But we are in the Champions League group stage phase. I just don't know if I want that. I mean, the money's amazing, obviously. Um, let's see the check. Well, yeah. Just in case. What I'm actually doing at the intros is checking with the guy upstairs. <laughs> just climbs down behind me. It's like the episode of Happy Endings where someone's living in Dave's ceiling. Right, well, we are in it, I guess. I just, I just don't know if I actually wanted it. Yeah, I mean, we're going to... Right, okay, who do you reckon then? God, is my QA guy. <laughs> the red card did help. Uh, we were sort of struggling at that point. I think if, if they don't get the red card, I think they eventually start to... Would have probably ended up beating us. Better point you should get. In. Uh, not really, because it's done based on your um coefficient. And if you're not winning matches, you're not going to gain coefficient. Dino Rosagra and Fenerbahce. Celtic and Villarreal. I don't mind that. That, we've already got points against Tottenham in the past. Do you know what? That's not bad. That is actually fairly... To get a 10th and an 8th place, as far as our pot 1s go, a 67th as well, and a 45th for pot 3, that's actually all right. Watch us do worse than last year. I'll, I'll take that. Like, we could... There's no, like... Like, I know we lost to Dortmund last time, but it's... No Galatasaray, unfortunately. No, that would have been good. I think there's winnable games in there. I reckon we could give um, Dino Zaga and Fenerbahce a go. Celtic and Villarreal, there's a chance to draw at least. As a team, not a nation. I don't know. Um, let me check. It's like 90th place or something. Like, we're still one of the lowest ones. Newcastle tend not to do that in these. I noticed that they, particularly in this, without England being switched on. Um, coefficients. Last time I checked, we were like, yeah, 91st. But notice that last year, so you get you do get the boat the boost for actually qualifying for the Champions League, so it does help your coefficient. But notice that a season of us being mid in the Champions League is nowhere near as good as the season of us just getting to the knockouts for the first round of the Europa League. So it's still better for us overall to be in the Europa League potentially because our chances of coefficient. Although what I would say is every time we play in Europe, we just gain so many points anyway. Yeah, the Tottenham draw was last year, and we played well against Spurs. Like we can't go wrong with that. Other leagues, I didn't know. Um, no other leagues loaded. There'll be no point in putting them on view only. Plus, I wasn't willing to take the risk on the other thing. Let's see. Melbourne's record this season. 12 goals and 3 assists in 7 Champions League starts. He's better than Ronnie Shallow. I, w I, I will not hear it. To have that amount of contributions. What's that? 15 goal contributions in 7 starts in the Champions League for Eurai Melman. 
is incredible. Zabar to be yes, they beat Zoya. Yeah. Um, but then they got knocked out in the next round. But they did in fact beat Zoya. So we've had some good results for yeah. We won the second leg. We won it five two in extra time. <laughs> they got a red card. Maltese Wonder Kids. Do you know what? I wouldn't say Wonder Kid, but we do have a player that's probably the closest you're gonna get to a Maltese Wonder Kid, I would say, and that's Matthew Side, who I think is shoe in Maltese International by like I would say the age of about nineteen. I reckon he's in the national team squad. No one is incredible. Now, admittedly, he did play against some poor sides in there, too. So, coefficient, that would have helped us as well. 4.6. So, we've nearly got as many points in um, coefficient as we did last year. Already. Because you get a nice little um, bump as a result of... Ooh, how does that work? Are we that close? So, we've got above Czechia. We've got above Israel and Poland. So, we're at, we're at to 24th currently. If we could get above Norway, we would actually get a, a genuine increase. We would get to skip around. We go straight. We'd be guaranteed some kind of group stage. No, not that it really matters anymore to us, because. But then that extra champions path is just nice free coefficient. So I'm not. I'm not bothered if we don't get it this year. Maltese clubs are out now, but they have done better this year. Like we've seen some really good results, like Zabar knocking out Zoria. Um, Luta lost overall to Travis and Spore, but they did beat them five three at home. Norway twenty fourth, because that's how many champ. That's how many points they have. Right. Sick. Oh, bank balance will be super healthy now because we just got another 13 million quid, didn't we? Yeah, 40 million in the bank. But, I mean, that's, that's what Europe does for you, isn't it, right? Uh, wow, big result there for FC Copenhagen. Brugge getting absolutely clapped. I think we're getting... I almost hope we don't get 23rd this season. I'd rather have an extra year of just having another round to play just because it's free coefficient points. Sometimes you want the jump, but you don't want it to be too quick. Scotland doing probably fucking well. <laughs> We're getting there. We're actually making progress, though. Yeah, we got Thursday's game, which is where we'll find out what happened to um, Hamrun. But, like, come on. They're not going anywhere, unfortunately. But they've got there, which is the main thing. Uh, let's see. Still no interest on these guys. Just Wait, transfer state. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Have I just missed... Have I made a mistake here? Oh, my lord. Hang on. Oh, that's just one guy. We're okay. It's just one dude. It's just him. I got a bit confused there. I've obviously forget to, forgot to set uh, Malehi as um, transfer listed. There we go. We're okay. Just want to see if there's any new interest on some of these other guys. Doesn't look like it. Uh, that's still already in the process, isn't it? Maybe we'll get stuff as we get closer to transfer deadline day as well. Targets. Um... Mostly I use them when they're brought to me. As in, like, which target do I have? Ah, so basically this was one where basically he said, I want a new contract. And I said, hey, look, because the one scenario I feel like where targets are really, really useful or rather should be useful is when a player says I want a new contract and you say, okay, cool, you do this, you'll get that new contract. To me, that's where they should be the most. Problem is, this is the only time I've actually managed to get a player to agree to it. <laughs> To me, that's the one scenario where targets are so good, but they just don't work very often in that situation. Champions League's going great, Mork, so we actually qualified for it. We we beat Red Bull Salzburg in Austria in extra time. Participation off the ball since improves final third so much. Um, you're probably right. Let's have a look at him. The, the thing about Melman, right, is as fast as I change his... Uh... Where is he? God, he's still got... He's got a lot of growth potential still there. As I change his training quite regularly because... He just grows so fucking much. It's unbelievable. Like, <laughs> I swear he was at like 10 and 10 on these. Look, his composure has gone up by four. His decisions is up by three. Like, his mentals are going so good. Even got a bit of acceleration improvement too. But like, as interest, yeah, but that wasn't, that was Benfica, wasn't it? Um, I mean, I'll look, but I'm fairly certain it was just Benfica again. So let's just see. Bit back to attacking movement, maybe. That would work on his... Yeah, oh, that might be why he says... Yeah, get this off the ball and his anticipation up a little bit more. I think we just alternate between the two of them, honestly. Just keep going in back and forward between those two attributes until they sort of get to, like, a nice 15. Let, how long has it taken? Uh, we can have a look. We can see his training development on that specific attribute. Uh, so... It was nine here. So, yeah. So, in 2030... Bloody hell. In all, I don't know if... This, sometimes this lies. But if this is correct, that's one year. 
one year four points on his composure in one year yeah because look that's august 2030 and it's august 2031 so let's just say like okay it's maybe slightly over a year so 13 months 13 months for plus four composure because attacking movement of final third are really really important ones in the sense that i find that defensive positioning attacking movement of final third just seem to work better than it. if you get a good player that's going to train really well those attributes that are trained by that will just rock it up no matter what but fucking hell he is so good even his vision's improving passing's gone up but not enough to actually notice anything i mean his decisions as well literally around about here over the last year i think i wonder if that's because he's been playing a lot more as well so it's combined with his training too morindor thank you very much for the three months hope you're having a lovely day and we're now gonna s this first team football definitely helps it's a combination of his training and actually playing consistently i think over this period has really helped him so that alone um no because i'm afraid if they fail the target they might decide to come back as a result of it so that's the reason i haven't done that and now a harrow bishop ultras because we got to and a five and a four and a three and a two we can celebrate melman's success with the harold bishop ultras chat and also the whole champions league tier3 wait what holy shit morindor i'm so sorry i'm not used to tier three subs thank you so fuck that's really unnecessary thank you so much for the tier three wow I i'm sorry i'm so sorry i i'm just not used to getting tier three subs we've got like i think two uh, you're now one of them we've just doubled the tier three sub count um thank you though that's really really i'm very very grateful hope you're having a fantastic sunday and now to celebrate harold wait mc nsw uh, snw thank you very much for the six months as well uh so that was accidentally my Patrice button, uh, which you wouldn't have heard, chat, because I don't think it actually comes up on the stream anymore. Right, there we go. Try that again. And Harold! Um, so yeah, that, that, that that's not Harold. Uh, my stream deck changed page right as I went to push the button. So that's good. Uh, it's Luke. Thank you very much for the nine months. We don't have any music anymore now either. Let me... Where's the music gone? <laughs> I've totally broken it. Music. Uh, there it is. Um, well, we're getting that one out of the way, I suppose. Um, not quite what I was hoping for there. Oh, in Greece. How's that going, Morindor? I know that um, Tony's oh, been doing his in Greece too. Cooper. Daddy, thank you for the follow. The Can I call you Daddy? I will. Right, now Harold. Right, there we go. What you did. <laughs> I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, ah, goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get uptight, you're dead. Yeah, the Namibian Illuminati thing isn't a new scene. It's just a scene I haven't used for a while. Um, it was from the Africa save because, well, stuff. Uh, it will be draw time in a minute, yeah. Um, yeah, as for that, John, are you doing the new thing I talked about earlier where you have them, all the players you're trying to loan out, transfer lists and set to zero value? Because that seems to really help. Oh, dear. But most likely it is because of that. One whole Twitch baby. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> just throwing it out there, Richard. Springtide, thank you very much for the nine months. I nearly hit the Patrice button again. There we go. It's all fine. Right, let's get a bit of progression going so we can get to the draw and also try and get some more players out alone and see what happens with Hamroon. As if there's any hope in a bit. Imagine if they just drew the second leg because Sevilla got complacent or something. Just extra coefficient, right? I reckon there's like 4 0, sadly. Uh, oh, yeah, that's because I've just added him to the, the list. But that might still actually drive up interest in him. There you go. Doctor and Sirens, I don't know. Um, it's not a role that you can hire in the game anyway, as far as I know. I'm pretty certain that you can't hire doctors per se. That They're like a non... It's like a greyed out role, so to speak. Right. So, Hamroon want a bit of Debiso Malihi, which is fine by me, he. So, God, Hamroon want everybody. We do need to get some more, like, budgets for some of these other teams, because it feels like they're sort of concentrating a few of these guys out. But... If they don't actually play, then they'll just end up uh, coming back again, which is fine. Uh, wait, no, I want the other 19 squad. There we go. Can't hire doctors. Only the... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't hire doctors. I didn't think you could. Um, they, they, you will see a role in the game for that, but you can't actually do anything with it. 
It just sort of exists, which is a bit weird. But uh, wait, what? Hang on a minute. Chat, I've never even seen that one. Players this club have shown an interest. I've never seen that one in there before. That's a new one. I mean, we'll definitely do both. 100%. Belkebler would be... Sorry, Belkebler would be amazing for Hamroon. Please, go on. That, he would be a... He's probably our best available loanee. Oh, right. Uh, so that's a lot of the Patreon ones. We cannot afford to let them s skip out for too long. Because we need to make sure they stay around. As best we can. It's annoying that some of them are just so expensive so we can't even bring them in as, like, test trials anyway. The box on the left as well. Yeah, I, I've normally... It's, it's The thing I'm finding kind of interesting is that why does my assistant not want to suggest that? Oh, he did, didn't he? But hang on. Okay, just circling back. Why is it? Because it says they want Malehi as well, but why doesn't he show up in there, considering they literally have wanted on him? Or is it because of the type of uh, interest they have, maybe? I mean, if that goes through, that'd be amazing. Particularly with Bel Kebler. Oh, no worries, Andy. Hopefully it'll work out for you. Let me know if you find anyone amazing. Uh, ooh, no, we want one years on these guys. What am I doing? I'm just so used to signing long contracts, I forget. Public interest. It could be. Let's just have a look at Bel Kebler's page. It might not show up anymore now because he's obviously under a bid, but I want to look at his transfer. It might be because of the type of interest. Maybe it was because it was active interest? I don't know. Yeah. But some of the others have shown up in there. I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe it would have shown up in here before we actually did it. New set pieces coaches now. It can't hurt. Uh, have we actually allowed one yet? Yes, we actually are. Okay, cool. Who is? Let's find out what ours is like. Because you're right. There's probably got to be a couple of them, right? So here's our set, set piece coach. It's old Curtie Barbara with his... He's got nine set pieces. But you're right. If we could find like a 20 set piece guy. Now, what does that actually do? I'd be curious to know what that means as far as... Like, what effect does the level of set piece coaching have on the set pieces? Does it improve the quality of the set pieces or simply the the player's understanding of those set pieces? Great moustache. Fair play. The set piece stuff is all a bit sort of... Still a bit ethereal for me. We did, Stephen. We actually did. Is it familiarity or quality? Yeah, that's actually the exactly what I was trying... Thank you for summing that up way better than I was. <laughs> but there's no harm in us getting a better one, right? If we can. Um, but yes, yeah, we, we managed to get through. We actually won in Austria in the end. Uh, I don't have a set-piece coach one because obviously they weren't in the game last year, were they? So let me just uh, go to coaching attributes and just do it like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> the best Why are they all Australian? Oh, right. Because I've... <laughs> also, it's good to know that there's 37 Australian set-piece coaches. Why was I looking solely at Australian set-piece coaches? Cruise quality for sure. Yeah, but you say for sure, based on what information. That's what I mean. Like, what is it that leads you to think that? Um, he's a technical director, which means he's not going to join us. Andre Tonner. There's loads of them. The Aussies. <laughs> he need a set piece coach. <laughs> Just and alone. <laughs> okay, Andre, he will be. Yeah, he'll be fine. Wow, that's a lot of money. Can I drop that down a bit? Cool. All right, yeah. I mean, getting a Maltese one. 17 we could have gone for this guy but he would have probably not wanted to be a set piece coach you reach full effective as a set piece for a coach yeah also just occurred to me chat oh no that's not a set piece coach is it that's <laughs> i thought there were sixteen thousand set piece coaches <laughs> that'd be excessive there's only 157 but there's a, sorry 159 which is still way more than there were before well saying have actually got a decent one Aussie half mile. Oh, yes, you're right. We were trying to find the, um, as to why they were going after those players, weren't we? Only fast familiarity. Ah, oh, well. At some point, we will actually have to take a deep dive into it. It's actually something we might be able to do at the latter stages of this season once we're out of Champions League because I'm trying to structure as to when the next recap's going to be. And it kind of either has to be this coming Thursday or the Thursday after because I'm in Malta next weekend and I'm not going to be able to record it on a Friday or the, the Monday in order for... Yeah. So I need to sort of plan that around. Except these guys just started scoring from corners. Uh, but are you sure that's... But I mean... Okay. But that's not like empirical data on it. That's just kind of sort of... That could be just confirmation bias. But also... Um, how can I get your exclamation mark? You're in multi. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Um, that's the Europa League map. 
three nil seven one makes sense ah the stream agenda be next week uh i'm not sure what you mean uh entirely no the game is at um Cyrene stadium as far as i'm aware quality i mean yeah familiarity would lead to more goals but there's not actual data because yeah well they should be streaming same as always uh fair one johnny that's good to know uh the white streams while i'm in malta if that makes sense <laughs> I figured that would be a given. Uh, oh, that's uh, fucking. I was trying to load it. I was trying to offer him up for transfer. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I'll, I'll be just streaming normal days except for Sunday, basically, because obviously I'll be multi. Oh, oh no, yeah, no, that's not what we want. Uh, so it seems we've got a couple of loan offers for these guys, but not enough. Well, I need to get. Oh, have you guys seen Max's new uh video? I actually managed to. I watched it before it was mentioned on stream for once in to alia um i don't know as far as i can tell it was um andrea told me that it was not there um but we'll see there we go joe's gone to floriana another one mm. yeah the training rest recovery one the particularly big takeaway for that for me by the way milovic has gone as well is the fact that setting your players to rest manually i didn't even know you could do that in that training screen for a start the fact that you could do it on this page here i think you can do it on other pages too as well but where is it is it misc no training yeah in here no there it is here you can like send them on holiday manually which i had no idea you could even do but you can um not always maybe you can't do it in malta i don't know either way um it's a really good way of resting players between matches, basically. So, yeah, Drabble Lube's gone. Yeah, I know you you could even do that. Also, Sanji Oh, yes. Yeah, fuck it. It's time to do the um, <laughs> the monthly coachy shuffle. <laughs> Sorted. Options. Uh, no, no, you can do it when the player doesn't have rest on them. Play Premier League games at the Cyrus there. I, I don't know. Either way, I know for a fact that it's not in the national team stadium because that's what Andrea told me. Um, and I'm probably going to trust him on account of him being on the team. <laughs> I don't know what the game actually is. Though. I'll have to find out. Everything. Yeah, I think you probably can. It's just I've never actually noticed it there before. In fact, you almost certainly can. Shuffle the coaches. So basically, you know, you get that report come through sometimes. People. I'm sure you do. Where it will say like these players are unhappy with the quality of training and then they'll usually say something about quickness training because reasons it's always quickness training or strength training right if you just go in and shuffle the coaches it will just appease them for another month for some reason signing these crap players to get loans to make the board mad uh not so far I and mean, it certainly didn't during the last save so i don't see why that would change now oh hello melita nice take a bit of that no mention of what the attribute does it's <laughs> typical isn't it absolutely fucking typical I, I probably should have just asked one of the devs when um i was down i might just, i probably could just ask him again honestly if i remember i'll ask him later um maleka is he still just oh no interest there at all now right that's annoying Oliveira. okay that means it's time for you to go zero pound and transfer listed as well hopefully drop up a bit more interest from you potentially anyway and you are ready set like that are you not yes okay that's fine Two no hammer. Yeah, I mean hammering are very good though, aren't they? You know. Bugiba. Okay, I'll have to figure it out. Um, I'm sure Andrea will let me know where the game is. <laughs> I mean, I've got. I'll have a car, so that'll be fine. I mean, the quirk in the save of buying these young youth players rather than just loan farming the normal way. Um, they don't seem to complain. I mean, I think it's because we're buying the players at value, so they don't consider the amount we're paying overpriced. Nation do next year? Uh, probably not a nation next year. We're most likely going to do a different type of save just because of FM25 being very different. I thought it might be fun to try and do Outcast or Icons. But we'll see what we'll, we'll see what happens. Depends on how the multi save goes, right? In the end. Uh, yep. No, number 12. Good. Wait, wanted? Oh, yes! Also, hang on a minute. Note that that was a loan. Zabar what Mateus Diaz. And it wasn't like a... That was a full-on straight-up loan. Rodriguez, no. Oh, yes, please. Um. End goal of an OTI save. So hang on, let me just... 
I would try and offer him out normally, but I feel like I can't, he's the kind of player that if I could for, not force it through, but like get out there properly without any kind of holdups, he could be amazing for a team like Zabar. He's two and a half star CA. He'd help them out a huge amount. A lot of potential. A lot of potential. Uh, that was presumably from before. Oh, million pounds, right? <laughs> that was when I was testing it before, wasn't I? <laughs> Imagine if I'd agreed to that. <laughs> that could have gone poorly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Mateus Diaz. So we'll get rid of Bel Kebler because he's obviously in the process of... If I could get a two-year loan. Oh, imagine. What? Maybe we try a different player. He That might have got confused because they might have just said... They might have changed their mind on him about his potential level because it's from prior. Right, Diaz. Am I missing something? Wanted for loan by Zabar. It could be because he's maybe his contract's not long enough. Hard lock it. No, it goes red, which means if you hard lock it, it doesn't make any difference. The the redness here when you suggest it means that it's not going to work if you hard lock it. It's the same thing. Uh, let's try this gun instead. I'm just gonna. I can't be asked to wait, so I'm just gonna. Unless it's just because I've suggested him on that one and they've rejected it. There we go. Okay, maybe it's because he's only got a one year left on his contract. There we go. That's fine. That confused me for a second there. Let me just check Diaz's his contract to make sure. Because if he does get an extent... If he goes out alone there, I'll extend his contract. Yeah, that's what it was. They knew I like that it actually has that feature, though. That it, do it does give you that information. Camilleri offer accepted. Nice. Youngster contract. 10 there. If he went to Zabar, though, that would be genuinely amazing. I'd be so happy with that. Right. No, no, no interest in there was terrible yeah very very terrible Fiona! um he had no control of the it was his first premier league game i'll give him that but he just had no control over the game whatsoever uh, he's living on a free ah that sucks but he might join them on a free potentially you know um Alditia, thank you very much for the follow any new one no we just oh hang on was that another one? Oh, tarsheen won a bit of him as well cool so please that's got completely ignored yeah i i wonder if maybe it doesn't do anything and it's a bit like um, a technical director or a loan manager, right? But anyway, sorry, I was explaining about OTI. So basically, the, the aim of an outcast icon save Here's in my fact. rules of it, and I think like that kind of is just the rules because I don't really think other people do them. Uh, Fabio Silva, thank you very much for the follow, is to win the Champions League with a team that's never been in a European final, right? Uh, so that includes Conference League, Europa League, Champions League, Super Cup, um, obviously, and uh, Cup Winners' Cup, right? However... It's a journeyman as well. So you start with no coaching badges, as many European leagues turn on as possible, start at the bottom and work your way up. Every time a team gets to a final in the save, they are also, if they haven't already been eliminated, they are also eliminated from the list of teams you're allowed to manage. The next thing after that is if you win a fight, if you lose a final, you have to leave your job as well. So you, you've you got a risk taking when you actually do get to a European final. If you lose that final, you have to leave, basically. Um, so it's, yeah, that's an outcast of icon save. I've actually never lost a European final in one of those saves. Uh, yeah, we'll probably release you, though, if it's all the same. I think they're really fun. So, Tonner's in as a set-piece coach. Uh, Siska Sacco's in. Low That's probably not a bad idea, isn't it, honestly. <laughs> they are very fun. We did one on stream back in the... Um, back in the COVID years. Motor Trophy in a week. Uh, good luck with that. No, he was appalling. Um... Win the final too. No, so if you win the final, say it's like at the Conference League or the Europa League, you can stay on and try to continue doing it. But if you lose the final, you leave. Yes, yeah, so if you win the ECL or the UEL final, then you get to stay in there. And I've done two of them on YouTube and they were both really fun. And I've done one on stream and we didn't get to finish that, unfortunately. I've been in jet ski. Uh, that was... Uh, no, that was um, North Macedonia, I believe. I think. Or was it? I can't remember. Was Valeshta Albania or North Macedonia? They're not even in the save, are they? No. <laughs> I can't remember which Valester is. Kind of level quality startup. Well, if you've got no coaching badges, you can start as low as you want. Um, and because I usually, what I do is I turn on as many leagues as physically possible, you get like a really low down starting point. Teams that haven't won it before. Yeah, it's just it just adds extra fun for me. Um, they get all the cool job hunt streams. It's just, they're just a fun old time, isn't it? And I just like the extra rules that just, it basically just stops you from going straight 
through a pathway to really obvious clubs. I like to get off the beaten track a little bit. It's why I've really enjoyed my time at Sassuolo, for example, right? I wouldn't have managed Sassuolo probably in that save if it wasn't for the rules. And that that Sassuolo section of the YouTube version of it was... Who? Holy, oh, he's at Porto. I was going to say. Was that one of the guys we were looking at from a few years ago? Must have been. Tarshim won a bit of Baltashev. Nice. Mentoring month. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, hang on. No, chat. This is the actual mentoring. Julian Palacios picked up some mixed... Per Positive... Okay. Sense of loyalty has grown. Doesn't seem quite as ambitious as he was before. So that means he's got that from Melman. He started to allow his temper to get the better of him. Is less adaptable and... Ca Sorry, which of these are positives? What is the fucking point of this? So just to clarify... Palacio and Melman. Both of whom are getting significant effect from the group, but seem to be getting nothing from the players that I actually want them to. Hence my mentoring bugbear about this. It's like, so they should be getting loads from these guys at the very top here, but in fact, they seem to be getting, like, he would have got that from Melman, because Melman has unambitious. So he's got the, the light influence has worked then, basically. So, but none of the significant stuff matters. Cool. Uh, yeah, I just find... Also, we've had no interest in their, their personalities are all exactly as they were. It's been a year now. Um, but I will. <laughs> That's why I can never be fucked with mentoring. All it does seems... Seemingly all it does is give you loads of things you don't want whilst doing nothing of the things you do. Oh, Melita as well. I would like Melita to take him because they've already got that um, other guy. Yeah, sorry. You must have missed this, Anarith. I actually tried some mentoring off stream. Look at Max's video. I didn't get a chance. But like, unless it's any different to what I just did there, I don't know why it would be any different, right? But I will have a look. Um, but I'm not going to invest too much time into it because I still think it's nonsense. <laughs> Dictates the ability for set piece coach to effectively set up set piece situation in all phases of play. It doesn't clear it up, but it does indicate that it is to do with the quality because it's talking about the setup of set pieces. No, maybe Pedro. I don't know. I'm just, I'm I'm just not asked enough about it to actually investigate it fully. Like I set it up in a way that I feel like should work. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to lose sleep over it, right? Think John Kadrak is under 15? Probably, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Right. This shouldn't really change anything. I think we've already got the score we want for this. Unless there's any new under 21 guys. But I think... I love that uh, Melman counters that as well. No, nah, I think we're okay. Wait, why is Conan in the squad? I guess he... Oh, because of um, squad player. Wait, was he really squad player? Who even is he? Yeah, I'll be fine. Hey, was it? Proof heading, was it? Um, no, you do aerial training for heading, but I've noticed that it doesn't seem to be very effective, generally speaking. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's worth a go, right? Mentoring group, but they aren't even in there. Oh, trust me. When we didn't even have mentoring set up, we would get mentoring compl- Wow. We would get mentoring thingies before. Hang on, would he talk to us? Oh, that's literally the guy that I had on loan last season. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely scouting him again. Uh, an effective training. Oh, not I mean... <sighs> It's less effective than a lot of the others, but it's also not as effective. It, it's more effective than some of them, but also not as effective. It, it's not great. Uh, we have tried it, but I feel like that's why this year I'm just kind of ignoring a lot of centre-backs when they have poor heading to begin with, because I feel like no matter how much I train them, they're probably not going to get it up enough to the point where they're usable, which is a shame. Now that we've got a Hammerin report here. Yeah, look, Hammerin have actually got this guy Salvucci, who's like three stars. Wasn't he the guy that scored those goals for them in Europe? Like, he's a decent player. They love these sort of 12 grand a week. Hammering, stop it. You've done this with our Barnage. Like, what have I told you? Because I, I mean, to be fair, like I always say, the old tutoring system was far too overpowered. Like, it was broken overpowered. But I feel like the new mentoring system is so vague and seems to work in the same way that... It's like FM astrology, basically. It's like, your player might gain some professionalism, but only if Mercury's in retrograde, you know? <laughs> Uh, wait, we've got a huge budget, so I might as well set that to high. Uh, wait, Kianki, didn't he used to play for... Oh, wait, Hibernian are just loading out players to Dubrava. All right. Yeah, so, well, the agent offers are kind of 
not really that useful, I've noticed anymore. Um, because you don't have the player scouted, and a lot of them are too expensive nowadays. Uh, wait, you're at Le Levante as well now? Oh, you went to Barcelona. He was that insane centre-back that was at um, Universidad Cesar Vallejo. Look at him. I mean, he's obviously goated, so we were never going to be able to sign him. But it was... I feel like Aquino we could have maybe snuck in on. I think they must just be on the shortlist still. Oh, Inferno. Why has he popped up? Man just needs to play football. Spreading vibes. Literally, yeah. The mystery of the finals. But yeah. Ooh. Argentinian dude here at... Okay, let's just... Uh, this is the perfect time to get a scout report through as well. See if we can pick up... I'm just going to set these scouts up. And then I'm actually going to look through as well, in case there's any free, like, really cheap guys we can pick it up. European coefficients, it's gone okay. Obviously, with us being in the Europe, in the uh, Europa League, sorry, the Champions League this year, it's going to be hard to get coefficient points from it. Uh, most of those guys are... 21 million pounds. Oh, it's another hand in a Wusu. Oh, wait, no, I want to look at him, didn't I? Wait, wrong one. <laughs> oh, fuck it, Ella. FM, stop it. Behave. Right, there we go. Light permitting works. Seems more realistic. Um... Yeah, but like I think the problem with it is that it's sort of just like putting a load of shit in a bowl and hoping that something good comes out, which I, I guess is, again, realistic. But I feel like I don't know why they even bother having you set it up because it never does anything that you want it to. So might as well just have it as a background thing that just happens. I, I feel like that's my point about it, actually, is that I don't actually mind it. I just feel like it doesn't really do anything that is helpful to you. And thus, it might as well just exist in the background without you having to touch it kind of thing. Uh, let's have a look at Wusu. See what he's... Like, he's good, but I still think I'd rather have Burnt. Uh, can be buy some bullshit. Well, you can, but as you've seen, it doesn't really do anything. Uh, it just ends up going against you anyway and going off. Um, so how does this actually stack up? So burnt's better in those two key areas for me. One on ones is better. Reflex is better. Like burnt has the, the four things I want out of a goalkeeper. He's better in all four of them. Sold him. Yeah. Good scout video. It depends on what type of scout you're looking for. But I mean, I have several. But it depends on what exactly you're trying to look for. Actually, is synonym for strength in a coach. Good at coaching strength. Uh, don't think that is a specific type of coaching, is it? Isn't that like physical? I'm not sure there is like a strength coach per se. Uh, yes, he's the Macedonian dude. Fitness coach. Fitness coach. I don't know. Maybe. Mars is doing. Uh, if we have a look up, um, because I really want to focus on the transfers at the moment. I only care about one-on-one -on -one reflexes, agility, and height. Oh, um, then for each of their own, but I care massively about area reach and command of error, especially on FN24. But hey, each of their own. Um, right. Yeah, we'll, we'll get... Oh, he's scouted fully anyway. I just wanted to see if there was any bargains we could pick up in these guys that we don't have fully scouted yet, but it looks like most of them are either 21... Yeah, they're just, there's just a lot of expensive players in there that with no guarantee they're actually going to talk to us because we haven't got them scouted. But the rest of them I'm have a look at. I already did that, didn't I? Moron. <laughs> no one as a coach is actually doing... Oh, well, to be fair, I think the set-piece guides are more about the setting them up yourself, right? Um, than the actual... Wait, you're... Oh, PSG guy, never mind. Stuart Fraser's at Liverpool. And yeah, the, the only player that was actually in that report that was worth looking at is he, Teleski, who very much is. But I think this is going to come down to what he wants here. Breakthrough prospect on fucking hell. Three grand a week as a breakthrough prospect. You're on a non-contract, mate. Aye. Any attribute? Uh, well, I mean, hey, all I can say is, not in my experience. But that's my experience, not yours. It's just different, isn't it? Right? Tom's trying to scout report. Oh well. Um. Oh, we could just yeah, we could just look him up though. Um, I've always struggled to get mentoring to do anything, and it just annoys me to the point where I feel like it's also diminished returns. Um, oh, <laughs> the report didn't do anything anyway. <laughs> right, take part. Actually, before that, I'm going to have a quick pee break. Um, except it might be slightly slower today because we're doing something slightly different today. Uh, we are going to take part in the deadline day, but I'm going to pee first. So, as I mentioned earlier, um, I think it's... I don't think it's any worse than FN23, but I did kind of ignore it for the entire period, so... What do I know about that? So yeah, as mentioned earlier, this month, the stream is brought to you by the British Heart Foundation and their campaign to um, teach people CPR, basically. And I figured it was a good cause to get involved with. So that's what we're going to be doing while I'm going to have a pee. You can learn a little bit about CPR training. So I'm going to, it's not going to button for this. I've actually got a separate thing I'm going to use. So I'll be back in about three minutes once you've uh, had a look through this. My cardiac arrest. Truly all I remember was running down a football pitch and then just everything goes black. 
I believe the ability to perform CPR is a crucial thing that people should learn. I believe that the Reviver app is a really simple and easy way to learn CPR and a new skill that could potentially save someone's life is just incredible. Minute on this one, then we switch it. All right, hold it there, gents. All right, boys, great session, okay? Today, there's a bit of a surprise for you, so it's not gonna be your ordinary training session. <laughs> How you doing, man? How are you doing? Graham Sinesh. Hi, hey, guys. How are you? I'm a, an ambassador for the British Heart Foundation. And at the age of 33, I was diagnosed with coronary artery disease, which led me to have a triple bypass operation. So I'm here to talk to you today about CPR. The British Heart Foundation have devised this course, Reviver. It's 15 minutes long and it may save a life. Maybe one of you will perform CPR on someone and save a life. All you need is a pillow and a phone. Come on, let's do it, let's go. I'm going to tell you how to give basic life support. You're going to come across someone with heart issues in your life. I've never done it before, so it's 15 minutes of your time. If you get this palm onto it and force this back down, good man. Yeah, More or less, you have to go fast. Two a second. Is the patient breathing? No, they're not breathing. You got it. <laughs> well done. Well, did we learn anything? Yeah. Yes. When you go home and you have a quiet moment, please have a look at it. You may just save a life one day. In just 15 minutes, the length of a half time, you can learn the skill so important it could save someone's life. Before I go, every one of you is going to have a pair of these shin pads. And on the back, I'll tell you how to do CPR. Thanks for your time, thanks for your patience. There we go. That was perfect timing. I literally just ran around like a crazy bastard <laughs> trying to do everything in the time. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right, there we go. I'm back. <laughs> I'm out of breath now. Dropped my can of Bepis while I was running around as well. <sighs> but yeah, so I hope you don't mind me partnering there. I mean, I don't really care in a way because <laughs> I feel like it was an important thing to do, basically. <laughs> if I was going to use my stream for any kind of sponsorship, I'd rather it be something like that, right? <laughs> oh, dear. And the other thing is, it's it's kind of close. I mean, I feel like it's close to a lot of people, right? Because um, my parents, not next door neighbor, but like indirect next door neighbor, um, was like runner, um, healthy dude, right? And one day he just randomly collapsed, and his wife, who used to be a police officer, she obviously Hello, knew Matthew CPR from doing that, and was able to do CPR on him until the ambulance arrived. And basically, if she hadn't been able to do that, he would have died quite simply and she'd have lost her husband in her early 50s and as a result he's still here because of that so i just feel like it's an important thing to know basically that's one of the other reasons why i was really eager to do this and i will be doing the course myself as well because pogs um no cpr training because she has all the uh safety stuff from work but there we go and patrex thank you so much for the four months it's really kind of you man sorry that i uh, didn't interrupt myself there i just wanted to get that out um oh big apologies though chat could happen in a moment. Yeah, absolutely. For certain things just put you more at risk for it, right? Had a heart problem, really? Yeah. It feels weird not knowing what to do, but this is why I feel like it's such an important campaign to be a part of. Like, this isn't like them trying to raise money or anything. It's just about raising the awareness for it. Doing a video on the course, man. <laughs> no. No, no. I mean, it's just a, the, the course that they're offering, basically, which is really, really cool. Um, Sorry about that chat. I forgot to do the ASMR. It's literally 15 minutes. Like they say, 15 minutes can save a life. Anyway. So yeah, they're um, sponsoring the stream for the next month. Oh, that's convenient. There it is. There's a chatbot message as well. And there's also a link in the description. Sorry, in like the stream panels underneath the stream, which you can uh, click on as well. Or the one that they've just linked there. Thanks for that's, that's awesome. I mean, my granddad had a heart attack. And he's had several actually in the end. And unfortunately, in the end, uh, it was too much. But, you know. Do you have a really serious topic? 
Bigfoot is sometimes confused for Sasquatch, yet he never complains. <laughs> it's true. I, I can't say you're not... You are 100% correct, Jeff. How's it going, man? Right, let's look up Lucas Marza. Um, Because he is actually considered a uh, favoured personnel at the club. And he's now playing for... Oh, he's been all over the place. Is this a low? No, he is there permanently now. After many years of not playing for Tigre, he's finally moved to Villa Dalamine in one of the lower tiers of Argentina. Has got 8 in 28, but it's not like the record he had for us, man. Hammer on Jack, do they? That would be good. Was that in, like, the um, Attracting Interest page? Take it for Fauna. Ah. Diaz is already happening. Fernie Teo? Ooh, Luta and Yaksik. Yes, please. So, first things first, I'm going to try it the old-fashioned way with these two. Uh, wait, regular start? No, no, I want just none selected just because I feel like sometimes when you add that in there, it puts them off. Right, Fernie Teo and Yevon Yaksik. We'll do both of those. Uh, it seems to default that to regular starter, weirdly. Uh, wait, has that one got... Why was that set to unspecified? It's used to change by player to player sometimes. If they don't get an immediate response, then we'll try putting them as part of the uh, a deal. But I've noticed that with some of the party exchange ones, they do sometimes end up paying them way too much. <laughs> and we don't want that. Glad claps on the floor. I have to do CPR on him. Yeah. It's seven in total. Christ. I just think I thought it was something that was important and it was sort of thing I didn't really feel like anyone could possibly complain about. I'm sure someone could find a way, but like, you know what I mean? If I'm going to use any influence I do have, I'd rather it be something like that. Right. I thought it was Guy Sanchez for a second there. Uh, they've actually been quite busy. Wait, they've been very busy. Have I ever just... Oh, I love that we're just being linked with the random guys on our shortlist. Over and over again. I don't know. It's super weird, isn't it? Uh, oh, there we go. Wait, that's another one happening. Hammering want a loan offer for him. No offers for Teo. But you literally... Hang on. You would... Who was it? That was Luta, wasn't it? I want to see if he's still going to be able to go. Now, the problem is... Uh, this is why sometimes it's better to do what we should have done originally. Because... Oh, he would have been so good to have at Luta. Let me just see if I can still get him out there. Even if they've apparently dropped their interest. Because I feel like he'd be super useful for them. Oh, that's their first team squad, Matty Moran. Oh, yeah, so that's why I feel like it's important car. to actually just go with the part exchange straight away. Particularly on deadline day, I suppose. Because the problem with the part exchange thing is it they often end up paying loan fees. Because you can't set that information in there. Uh, I'll ignore that one for the time being. Because that's from... That's from one I was messing around with. Right, let's try this one. Players to exchange... Yeah, so now they've not got him. Let's try it. See if they'll take him anyway. Oh, they will. Okay, good. That's good to know, actually. How's this guy still playing the MLS? Let's have a look. Right. <laughs> I don't know, but for his name alone, right? Surely. Do we have regular teams in Europe? Uh, depends on what you mean by that. Like, if you mean, like, teams that are regularly qualifying for group stages, then no. Uh, if you mean like teams like a consistent set of teams qualifying for Europe, honestly, no as well. But I'm hoping we can get that now. Oh, it's Ace. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard, my friend. Yeah, he's a bit, he's a lot of, and being called Ryan Ryan, that's extra points. <laughs> Wally Winkabar. Amazing name. Thank you very much for the follow. If you are new today and you have enjoyed uh, so far, drop a follow. I'd appreciate that. Right, let's see if we can get these over the line. What's his middle name? Do you know it's Ryan? Some say. Uh, so he's in. Wait, what happened? Uh, so Vinicius has gone in part of that deal. Mateus Diaz has... Oh my God. Fiona! Mateus Diaz is going to be on loan at Zabar this season. That is a hell of a signing for them. Which means... Oh no, we can't extend his contract because he's on a free transfer thing, which is annoying. Also, once a lot of these guys go out, I can then take them off the transfer summer. list. In winter, remove the thing about their low depression. asking price and then I can give them new contracts because they won't sign a new deal while they're on the transfer list. Everyone's a winner, baby. That's true. That's true. And Corey, thank you very much for the follows, guys. Uh, so we're going to get Lagana on a youth contract. Okay, we take that. I don't know Ninja Chicken. Again, it's another one of those things I'd like to do some in, like re research into is, oh, Bell Kebler at Hamroon. I'm excellent, Rue. How are you, friend? 
Oh, has he got multi slash? It's just as well then, honestly, that he's probably leaving at the end of it because I suspect that um he probably would have cost us money. Right. So Yachik's gone to Hamrin as well. That's really good, and that's just a regular normal loan as well. So it does seem that it definitely drives up loan interest. Right. So what's left? Teo's already under a bid. Fafana's wanted by others, and I believe that that should. Because one time I swear it actually showed up. Look, like, for example, him. Is that because he's not in the first team squad? Bro, could you like. Wait, I thought you were under a bid. Wait, what? You were. I swear they both bid on him. Did he turn them down? You better not have done, bastard. Because it only seems to show first team players, so you do still have to have a little look through, see if there's any others sneaking about. Like Rodriguez here, but that's only wanted by a Chinese club. Hmm. I'm concerned that in nine hours, that's not going to be enough time. But Fernie, Fernie Teo has gone as well. Low Farm is looking very good, Eras, as you're about to see in a minute. I'll, I'll show you the numbers. We must be getting close to 90. Lignon's, oh, that's really bad. Opted to stay. Oh, did he? Oh, hang on, wait. If he opted to stay. Oh, yeah, see, he opted to stay. You're right. Um, What I've noticed is that sometimes... Oh, the injury's gone. Not the injury, sorry. I reckon we might still be able to get him out. Potentially. Carl has a party. Who doesn't have a long-term future. Nice. And it was Batshev. I think this might go through. You can untick. Oh, can you? Oh, yes, you're right. Legend. That's good to know. Yes, yeah, knowing that Fafana's only wanted by... Well, and that's transfer bids as well. They haven't bid, thankfully. Good to know. Okay. Right. This might get done. He might still turn it down. I'd be disappointed if he did, because I think Melita have got some stuff going now. They've also got that uh, Patreon region now. Adam Cooper as well. Oh, is he plus? Mm, too much, I think. Seems to be saying the backup track. He saw the backup to the backup track, I would say. <laughs> At the moment. Wait, he's going through. There you go. Batship's gone. Nice. Isn't that on the agent? No, uh, hang on. Now you can see that age isn't there on the agent offer list. Uh, so here, wait. Uh, what am I looking for? Hang on. Age isn't there on the. Oh yeah, you're right. It isn't. That's kind of weird that it isn't. But I know that you're adding that in the skin. Yeah. Um, right. Let's have a little look through. Just anything that's like B minus. He's eight million pounds. Never mind. This is what I mean. I feel like the agent offers... Because our transfer budget is so high, even though we can't sign a lot of those players. He looks okay on the surface, but it's a lot of money. And I'm not sure the potential's there. Who's the backup Trek? Um, might be Maleka. I don't know, honestly. B-Squad at all. Um, I don't know if we'd, if we'd even know that they were, because I don't know if they even have B-Squads per se. They've got like under 23 teams. It was a free C minus. What was that? Uh, oh, this guy here. Mohammed El Ah, but look at the wage. Like, he's been released by El Etihad. Maybe Tanish. Tanish is out on loan. And he's not coming back unless he turns it down because he's too good. Um. Well, he's a free transfer anyway, so we could just trial him. It doesn't have to be signed in the... Uh, he, he'll just want too much money because, unfortunately, Sally, and he wants even more money. <laughs> he's open to joining us. Is he open to it? Wow. Well worth it. But You say that, but he's not, though, is he? Like, £1.7 million. Pounds. So he, he's our record signing. He'd also be expected to start every game. He's worse than every other striker in the club. So Watara's better. John's still better. Melman's better. Fafana's better. So he would be the fifth choice striker. And I don't know if I want to spend 1.7 million pounds minimum on a fifth choice striker. Although he would want very little money. In fairness. Last minute defender. We've got loads of defenders. It's annoying to lose him, but we have loads of defenders. Although admittedly, I have just sent Yaksha out. Like, we've got Bessie. We've got other players. Um, He's just very, very expensive. And we do have the money, but... If he had five-star potential, I'd be tempted. Let's just see what they actually want. If they want under two million, I'd maybe be tempted. But it's a lot of money for us at this level. 1.3 million. 
I just, as you say, I just feel like we can get better players that are cheaper than this. Like, way cheaper than this. 1.8 million pounds. I'm not going to spend... I just don't want to spend 1.8 million pounds on a player like that. Because I just feel like we find guys like this from, like, Asip Mimosas for, like, 150k. Like, it's just, what's the point? It just seems like a waste of money. Breakthrough prospect. Yeah, I mean, his contract's fine, but, like, 1.8 million pounds. It, to me, he's not a record signing. Our, our, um... I just think he looks like he's okay. I'm set up for the fun of <laughs> Uh, I should have known actually that he wasn't going to want too much money because it does actually say there in fairness. I just don't like splashing huge amounts of cash on a player like that for all that. Like, yes, we have trans 10 million in a transfer budget, but that doesn't mean you have to spend it on players that you don't think are worth that amount of money. And honestly, in a couple of years, he probably is worth that kind of money, but not to us, not at this moment. I don't want to break our transfer record for a player that's like our fifth choice striker. Um... Lots of Ds now. Any more free Cs? C+. Plus. But yeah, the reason that the agent offers become a little bit less useful at this stage is because of the large transfer budget. Always oh, cheap. The wage budget's a bit... Ah. He has a, we just know nothing about him. That's the problem. I can't remember myself to buy the really elite players that are 2% better than what... Yeah, no, no, but that's why I don't do that. I, I, I'm the same thing as you, Hybra. I don't do that. Uh, was there a B-? minus? See, he's a little bit more... Nah, see, it's the same kind of problem, right? He has pace, but his composure is very low. He has injury-prone, temperamental, no jumping reach, low adaptability. It's just a lot of cons and not the highest potential. See, now he might have a decent potential ceiling for all we know. But, like, I'd sign someone like him for, like, three to 400k, not 1.5 million, you know? So rather, oh yeah, over him I'd rather the other striker, but I still don't want either of them, right? They're not going to get in our team, and he's probably not going to go in the loan farm the other guy. That's the other problem, right? The last thing we want is to spend 1.8 million pounds on a guy who's not going to play for us and isn't going to go in the loan farm. Ooh, oh, no, look at him. Shifted the budget into wages. You'd think so, but actually what would happen then is we get loads of players who are like on free transfers, but want like 40,000 pounds a week. <laughs> if I had to guess. He's intriguing. <laughs> Seventy thousand pounds to two point six, so to six point eight million. Why even bother having a value there? I'm I'm curious just because I want to see how much they want for him. Watch them want like nine million after all that. Yeah, I'm not paying three point two million pounds for him. The thing is though, the only reason the game's rated him there as a B minus as well is because of the fact that the low end of the transfer range is so low. Oh, hello, Jimmy Diem. He's far more up my alley. This is the kind of player I much prefer. Like, okay attributes, okay stars, amateur, free player, plays for excellence, foot, or he did. This is my type of player. £80 a week, breakthrough prospect, mwah, sexy. That's what I'm after. We take those. Probably too late for the loan farm, but I'll never not find this type of player endearing. Uh, he's Senegalese. They're actually going to let me do a... Wow, they let me do a five-year deal. Nice. We take that. Oh, yes. Right on that proverbial street. I get the feeling we're not going to get many more of these guys out. Oh, good point. Our Aspire on there. They should be, but that doesn't mean they are. No, they're not. Uh, although, I suspect the reason for that is because they only have five... But then again, one of these guys could be good, right? In fact, while we're here, it'd be rude not to scout the rest of them while we're here. Particularly as they seem to have another dude here as well. Really no reason not to. Uh, Rafael Lee, as always. Uh, at least he's actually in this save. Or he was. There he is. Oh, he's got a friend. I thought that was. I thought that said Haggis. Make an offer for them. Um, I don't know. Slip nine. Bear in mind, if they do the whole unsettled thing, just tell them the wage offer wasn't enough, and they're usually okay with that one. Oh. Look at him. Look at him. I mean, he's decent. Uh, hang on, where is he playing? Is that Bosnia? Tune. This is an absolute bop. Team Talk was too lenient? Oh, I've never had that. Usually they're complaining about the the angriness of the youth intake. That's a new one. And... 
Come on. Oh, not spelt like that, Matt. Messineo. Do you know he doesn't? Let me just make sure I'm spelling that correctly. He, oh, oh, no. No, no, he doesn't, unfortunately. Cool. Makes it like... I honestly don't know Slipknot. I would like to do some tests at that on that at some point. Do you reckon I could turn around and get him loaned out in six hours? I suspect not, but I do like a challenge. Uh, expensive... Expensive... A minus? Ooh. Oh, wow. Really expensive. <laughs> and we're back to there again. Attracting interest. Oh, hello. Wait. Hello. Who are you lot? Dingley? Dingley? Dingley. Right. <laughs> the Wait, is that all of them to Dingley? <laughs> Dingley want a bit of everybody. Wait, can I not select multiple players on this screen? Oh, my God. FM. As if. Uh, hang on, let me just talk about age, because they're all youth players, aren't they? Unavailable? Why is he unavailable? So it's these four here. Oh, uh, wait, it's squad, isn't it? It's weird that it's under squad, but it's there. And Dingley. We'll do end of season, because I don't know if they'll all... Okay. <laughs> Dingley are all a bit of everything there. Was there an A-? minus? Or was that the, the £4 million Argentinian guy? Because I don't think we're going to sign him somehow. But it might be worth a look at it. He's actually not... He's so much... This is why I don't sign guys like that 1.7 million. When I can pick up this guy for free, who... Yeah, not the same type of player and everything. But it's just... I don't know. I get value here, you know? Let's try and offer him out. I just don't think there's enough time to get him alone. He might be one for the January market, potentially. Did I say angriness of the youth intake? Oh, St. Andrews won a bit of... That's nice. Follow up my interest. I will not. Al Harthy's in. Nice. That took a while. And I said, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Why are those guys set for unavailable for loan? Because I sure shit didn't do that. So many more of them. In fact, they could all be dev listed too. Ah, oh, Dingley have missed out. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's silly, Don. That 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 value thing is, is kind of just nonsense, but that's why we're not really paying attention to it. Uh, it's coming up like that, Jeb, yeah. I've not even got, like, an 80s or 90s playlist on. This is just happening. I think this is just a tune, isn't it? Uh, right. Let me just check the squad again, make sure there's no, like, random interest that we haven't seen. Missed... Oh, no, it was showing on the other screen, wasn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. If we get four lads to Dingley, right? Wow! Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. He's decent. Maybe we could Foden him. Uh, but I don't think it's going to work out so well for us there. Uh, that's all of those guys. Cool. Oh, off he goes. Yep. To Dingley, to Dingley, to Dingley. Dingley coming up clutch there at the very end. Missy practicing goes after I already sold him. That's amazing. He's still annoyed at you. <laughs> Never go back to your ex. You've got to learn. <laughs> Aaron, 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 Aaron. Thank you very much for the two months. Hope you're well. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Uh, wait, clubs interested? There's six clubs interested in him now. Oh, the moment that they were dev list. Wait, does that mean there's more? No, weirdly not. It's still only... Wait, no, hang on. Holy... Yep, that's actually some more offers. Loan offer. Let's get those three guys out for loan. Whew. Right. Uh, okay, so that's... Joseph's found another club. And Cedar won a bit of Ferrugia. You may have him. Yeah, no, it is a, a load of... Oh. Keith! Silly Billy. If we could get a couple more of these guys out... Tubs to kind of make offers for Jimmy Dion, but do they? Yes, they do. Okay. We'll try one more time. You never know. Aaron, 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 Aaron. Thank you for the five bits. Hope you have... Yeah. How's your Sunday going? 
a uh, bit of Malta there. I don't know if he's going to... He might have signed a little bit too late. Come on, let's get this over the line. One more go. We're being offered players for £12 million from Burnley. I, I mean, are you for real? That's even more money than we even have. Uh, freebie. Oh, no, it's him again. <laughs> oh, hang on. Okay, he could be more. Oh, if only he could head a football. Everything works well, Scandal doesn't. Yeah, but I feel like the setting them to zero transfer, setting them to transfer list and zero value definitely does improve the number of loan offers, for sure. It, it just does, as we've shown today. And how did that go, Aaron? Yeah, he's... Can't head a ball. Uh, it's <laughs> Such is life. Loan offers for Galea, lovely. Wait, why are you rejecting them? Oh, he rejected them. Wait, what? Right. So they're just rejecting all the loans anyway. <laughs> Makes no sense. Oh, why it works, I couldn't tell you, but it does. I don't deal with the whys, I deal with the whats. Since I've given up trying to get whys out of a hem, right? Is that a new one on there? Is he serious? Oh, hang on, he's... Not even awful. Okay, we've got 45 minutes. Could I get this guy to... Wait, do I want to send him to Nashar? Because Nashar have probably got better players than that. What was the other club that were interested? Marsa. Marsa could be all right. Can I sneak him out on loan in 45 minutes? We'll strengthen the team's starting 11. We'll improve the... Qual Doesn't that mean the same thing? This is another one of these FM situations where you have to... <laughs> work out which one of these is better. <laughs> will strengthen the team's starting 11 or will improve the quality of the starting 11. Like, I think second tier surely is just a better move for him. In my mind, that may... Chat, they have a player called Andrea Kassar, who I am going to sign as part of this deal. Wait, where is he? Can you remember his name, chat? I can't for the life of me remember the, da the lad's name. Just alone. I, mean, I don't know, because I don't know why he's not showing up. He's not even showing up in the under-19 squad. Is it because of his contract? Noel, yeah, that means he wasn't there. But why wasn't he there? He's loan listed, is he not? He should be there. Wait, it's not even in order. Is he still going through first names? He's still not there, but... I'm so very confused by that. So he's in the under-19 squad. It's because he's on a youth contract. But why is he wanted for loan if he's on a loot if he's on a youth contract? I won't be able to actually get him on a contract in time. So they want him for loan because he's loan listed, but he actually can't go out on loan because he's not on a proper contract. It's weird that they would even be interested in it. Aaron, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Ions. So yeah, what's happened here is he's not on a proper contract, which means he can't go out on loan. I think. How old is he? 17. So he's old enough to go out on loan. But hang on, I can loan list him. Yeah, no, I think you're right. You can. So no, apparently you can do it. It's just for some reason he's not showing up. Let me just senior squad him for a moment. See if for some reason that it might help for whatever reason, like you say. Um, right, let's go the long way. We will figure this out. We've got 45 minutes to figure it out. Uh, right, back to Andrea Kassar because I definitely do want to sign him. That'd just be fun. Right. Players to exchange. <laughs> God's sake, he's still not there, is he? <laughs> Senior squad. He's literally not there. 
Okay, so we basically can't do anything about him other than offer him out for loan and hope that they actually approach him properly. But yeah. So all we can do is the, the, the default thing here and hope that in 45 minutes, one of them goes, you know what? I think we might give him a go. I don't think it's going to happen somehow, but it's worth a go, right? Clubs to kind of make offer for Jibby. That's disappointing. Yeah, nobody wants the Jibby boy. One more. We've got 45 minutes. Can they do it? It's a race against time. Maybe he's the new redacted. Could be. Club, no, you can't have none of you. <laughs> you literally say that you want him. I guess it's because he expired. Uh, comes to club, let me guess. There's wanted interest on him now. That'd be funny as fuck. No, not quite. Deadline day passes. Right. What are we up to? Ninety-seven. Do you know? I'm still pretty pleased with that bit of business. We got ninety-seven loans now. We were at sixty-eight at the start of stream. Was it sixty-nine? Either way, it was. That's nearly a fifty percent increase in our loan farm over the next last three weeks. That's. I'll take that. That's really helped us pick it up. And there's some good players in there too. Look at some of the potential. Like Jean Dong suck. The fact that we got a five-star potential player out on loan at Sweetie. Tanic is still at Floriana. Loads of two-star guys with decent potential as well. At a lot of these clubs. So many players because that's the entire point of the save. We're loan farming. We're building up the other time other teams in our league. Nice. Right. Oh, great. We'll have to rest players for the uh, Super Cup. We're getting there. Ah. Are they trying to claim that... Maybe he did come through there. I was under the impression that that was a team report player, but actually can't have been. Why would I have been looking at them? Oh, RTD? God, for an academy that's so highly, like, well-known, they really don't produce any good players in my saves. Uh, oh, 15 in progress. That's new ones. Dada! Sorry. It's either Dada or it's Dada. I'm not entirely sure what yet. We're going to find out. Uh, I know it's Tada, but in the purposes of this, it is Dada. Ladia Boleslav. They might be too good for us, honestly, at this point. Bit of bit of B Tech Grammy over there. Don't mind that. Oh, yeah, we'd have to call him the daddy. What's he saying? Like, gosh, you know, actually, cheap enough. 17 might be the exact type of guy we're looking for for January. But we can just start picking up some guys to do the same thing within January. But what I would say is a lot of the guys that we brought in in this window, there's still a few guys left here, but I feel like we were able to find a decent amount of loans. Like, we didn't find everybody alone, but it improved. Some of the new... In fact, most of the new guys, with a few exceptions, did at least find a loan. Uh, these guys are still one of my loans. <laughs> Lads, the window's shut now. You can, you can go away now. Comment on the updated recruitment focus. I haven't. What was the comment? Is there a, is there an update to the update? Launch from Badiva. Oh, I see what you mean. So they because of, what? Go away. No interest right now. Easily got a bit of interest. Well, it's funny because didn't notice it myself. Oh, go away. I haven't left my contract. That's is that true? I love that they do that right after the window shuts. Anyway, how long is left on his contract? Uh, to be fair, he does only have one year left on his deal, so that would be a shame to lose him, but... Oh, he's literally saying he's going to leave. Oh, well, bell end. Um, you, uh, him, I would be annoyed if we lost, because just we're spending a lot... Then again. He's going to play loads anyway now. Um, because obviously with us, like, getting an injury to Lignon and with Yatsik being loaned out he's gonna have moved up the order by a considerable amount so he'll actually get a decent amount of game time this season uh Rush and Barrett, really they got no players oh they do yeah they're gonna start putting in some four actually i would say i've started scouting some four star guys probably not because the fact is most of the guys that are five star that we scout end up becoming four star anyway uh so deandre prince could we uh, it's a bit late for this now i'm gonna keep scout um keep actually what would he want nah, i'm not giving him two grand a week Wait, what? Oh, he's still here. Fuck's sake. Jar Jar Jar. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Mayhem of Salt. Sultan of Mayhem is actually probably better anyway. Delete the recruitment focus. Restart the manually scout the best players. To be yeah, of course. Um, But I'm not going to do that every single time a report comes through. It's tedious as fuck resetting all of them. That's why we don't do it. Um, We've already been through this. Um, It's just tedious. 
So yes, I know you can. We did it for a little bit, but it just became so irritating having to constantly go through and restart every single one of those focuses from scratch every single week. In fact, it wasn't even every single week. Sometimes it'd be even faster than that. Uh, oh, Christ, they're both injured. <laughs> I want to rotate massively here. Yeah, no, we tried it. It does work. Like 100% it does work. But I find that just leaving it for the seven week cycle. Well, they're going to probably beat us here. Just Well, Matthew said actually play. Why are we playing him there? <laughs> Let's at least play him in his actual position. Uh, we'll put Garab in. We're doing Malta uh, because we specifically added it to Malta so that you could have it. Right. Uh, Basala, I think his injury is relatively minor. Lignon's out for a good while, though. Like, a good month. Basala's injury is... Yeah, he's two weeks. So he'll miss a game. Yeah, he's actually going to play. I mean, we're not going to see him play because we've got things to concentrate on. But I reckon we lose this. I mean, we're playing Milan Avramovsky up front for a start. And Jibby Dion is getting himself a game. Big old double D. But that Fenerbahce game at home is so important to us. We cannot afford to play the first team squad in the Super Cup. Wouldn't it be funny if we still beat them? Vida's upset about being left up of that. Oh my god, we did. Avramovsky and Goraev. Nice. Jarja with an assist as well. That That's a little bit worrying. New set piece goes. Says, yes, he did. Yeah. Um, we had to luckily the one we had before was on like a non-contract so we didn't cost us anything to get rid of him that's what, another one of the reasons i like doing that because they usually stick around anyway and then you can just bin them off for free hello actually i feel like i've seen these guys before molnar definitely that name rings a bell like nobody's business right let's get our heads down actually start by oh two like games that we actually expect to try and do some stuff in as well I'm going to make 97 loans now is really good. I was hoping we might get to like into the 80s, but once we've got all those like Zuri loans, I kind of figured maybe we could go to like maybe 90. It's an exhibition match. It's an exhibition match with a little bit of money laundering on the side. It's kind of why I'm hoping at some point someone other than us plays in it, but it's just, it's basically the, the, the regularly scheduled us versus Hamroon. I'll be amazed if there's many seasons where we don't just play hammering in that cup. I want to be able to look through the Super Cups at the end of the save and just see us versus hammering every year. It's a bit like... When we, I was going to say it's a bit like in Treaty when we were when we played that silly... Not the silly. You know that um, Irish Super Cup thing that the game counted as a European competition, which meant that if you got a booking in it, you'd get suspended for the Champions League. We would often play against some quite cool sides in that because it wasn't always the same Northern Irish side. Prince Charles finished now, which means we bring him back in again. He keeps getting um, interest from clubs, but they never actually buy it. And I assume it's just down to his wage demands. Spartak Trinava. Ooh, Vrabble, maybe. Turn about matches now. It's going up a little bit. I think it's... Let's, I always find the hammering game as an example. Uh, I don't know if that one counts. Mm. Yeah, it does. So 65 is the max you get at the moment, which is the game against Hamroon. But you can see, like, 50 for Birkikara. Good, you're going to get 50 from that as well. Obviously, we get the most television money because we have the highest rep, but they're definitely getting there. So it's gone up, but not to the extreme. Bear in mind, with the old setup, particularly with that broken thing, they would have been up to that like, like season two. Same problems as Wales. I suspect so, but I've never done it since year one. Yeah, but it would have done that in like two seasons, pretty much before. Not to mention, obviously, that bug meant that every game was being televised, or rather the game thought every game was being televised. So you were basically getting double your money on that as well. But you can see how the TV money isn't really that important anymore. But it is still important to some of the other Maltese sides, which is why we did it. So they're at least keeping themselves afloat with the TV money. Particularly when they get games against us and Hamroon. Uh, right. A lot of really bad players in here, but that's fine. At least we can be a bit more easy, easy going on the old... Uh, wow, only two guys there. On the transfers for a little bit. We can kind of just discard most of the crap. Because these are all like local pla local players? Uh, he wouldn't talk to us. Oh no, he would. He just wanted stupid amounts of money. You're at Barca. Oh, that's a loan offer. Right, okay. You won't talk to us. You... Oh, you will now. Hang on a minute. Peter Santo. Oh, he's not got the potential anymore. He was on the next gen. Such a gap. You say that, yeah, I mean, true, Anarith, but at least we're actually still getting loans. Like, it, I feel like the gap doesn't actually even matter that much because uh, to me, that just shows that we're, we're progressing the save. Like, yes, there was bound to be a larger gap, but it's not actually now impacting it the way that it was because we've managed to catch the other teams up a little bit, at least. 
because it now means that when we're sending out these two star players on loan that means they're probably four star players uh saint pizza i like him i think it would just depend heavily on what french farish actually want for him because his wage would be okay and i do want to have I mean, and he's a center back that can head a football and we know how rare that is good on both feet but it comes down to how much they want oh, i just don't want to be 1.4 million on him not without that potential uh loads of guys from red star who are mid guy at elche 3.7 million he'd have to be absolutely goaded and he's just not yeah 13 heading is very good for fm this year <laughs> what about you two? Oh, you're a center back six foot three serbian center back Ah, oh, it's the dream. Best player on loan. Probably either Jean Dong Suck or Bel Kebla, I would say. Solid temp poles. Tackling's good. The rest of it is decent. Or he's okay for 16. He's actually fucking amazing. He won't talk to us yet, but he feels like a... He is very much a shortlist and come back to type of player. Because he has all like the resolute personality, can jump. Yes. They're like two star. No, no. The, the 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 biggest loan player we have is two star CA. We have no one out on loan that's higher than two star CA. But bear in mind, two star CA is like four in every team they're on loan at, so that's fine. Um, we'd have really struggled to get any two star CA players out on loan initially at MTK. They grew into being those guys, but they weren't like that to begin with. Like we usually the initial loan is never higher than that for the most part. What about Todorov? Oh no, it was him. What about Petrovic? Spend less money and get bigger loan farm. Um, I'm the Pope. Cooper, take off the Pope. True, but I also don't like... I don't know, it just feels a bit exploity. I, it sounds stupid considering some of the other things we do. I just don't really like doing that as much. Uh, he is not... I don't know what he is, but he is... Oh, it's a model citizen, though, which is annoying. KJ Bazzy, thank you for the follow. Uh, Vukajinovic... Oh my lord. Um Yeah, I mean, he has he is very much a pressing forward because he has absolutely no ability to be a striker. Like his actual striker attributes are appalling. Yeah, that's the thing, Simon. But like I imagine they weren't two point five stars upon their original loan out. I suspect they were probably have grown into being those players. Like with for example, like someone like Harris Zivkovic from the last save, right? He wasn't a that kind of player when he was loaned out initially he probably went out as a one-star player and then grew into it i reckon yeah the only issue with dong suck is his um insane they're playing a lot of money for it because of the uh so look but the best player on loan oh it's M wow, mladanovic as well there's no potential but he is actually up there lots of two star chaps but then there's a few oh that's i think that's probably what got him over the line there tanich is up there for me as well uh bel has lost a bit of his potential now it would seem that serves um not this current save i mean i have versions of the save but not from the at this exact point because otherwise i just have to keep uploading the save over and over again and it starts to get quite big it's actually there yeah but it's getting there um the other problem with doing that as well is i don't want people just going because this has happened before well it hasn't happened before but i've tried to prevent this where people just take the save put it in like fmrte or something and then just start spouting out like things about the save we don't want people to know obviously uh, that's one of the problems as well right um is melman my assistant's just like, why would we play our top scorer and best player? We don't really need to do that. That's silly. Uh, Longello, Camga, Sunday, Palacio, Vida. Boiling fan eight. Do you know what? I can see the lot. Uh, wait, no, I can I see the logic there? A kind of a bit, yeah. <laughs> Matthew Silas, 200 bit. Imagine. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think who else could even really do that job safer but he's not really no actually he can't because he played in that last game yeah it might have to be boiling fanny there we are a little bit like there but the fact is even if we'd signed a couple of center backs we would probably still struggle to register them although ah plus so james madison piazza libero and salt maybe but Palacio, the problem is, Palacio is so good in that role. I almost don't want to waste him playing as a libero. Particularly as... Where is Sultan? Is he even in the squad? I'm sure he is. He's probably on the bench. I'm just missing him. I just don't know if I want to risk that differential. Whereas I feel, I feel like the difference between Palacio... Between Fane 
and Jorgensen in that role compared to Palacio and Sultan is just so much more, yeah. They're going to have available when you're 20 seasons down the line. Oh, yeah, no. I'd probably do it even sooner than that. Finally, it's the Libera because we don't have our normal Libera. Well, we do, but we've got other missing players. Not on the bench. Oh, we probably should put on the bench though, at least, yeah. Is FM fun? Sometimes, Rocky. No, honestly, it genuinely is. It's just, it takes... <laughs> it's fun when it's not annoying you. Ah. Uh, let me find him. Has this got any kind of order to it, or is it just literally random? Mother of God. Right, let me just do the other thing. I'll do it the hard way. Six Ruskin, thank you for the 34 months. That's wild. How are you, friend? Where the hell is he? There he is. I'll just whack him on instead of Avramovsky because he ain't coming on the pitch, is he? Yeah, we like a... Uh, if you're a masochist, FM is very fun. <laughs> Longer period, not get bored. Uh, yeah, it is exactly that type of game. It depends on... I mean, honestly, Rocky, I can't possibly answer that question because I don't know what you find interesting. So there's many games that you might be able to play for a long time that might bore me and vice versa. But it's not the sort of game that has like a really short loop of interest, right? If you like it, you'll be able to like it long term. Let's put it that way. It's not like the mechanic loop of the game is like a really short burn thing, you know? Jar Jar on the bench. Ah, uh, well, we've got Sultan on the bench now, so we don't need Jar Jar. Not everyone can... Not every player can be on the bench. Um, but luckily, James Madison's here to destroy us, I suspect. I love that he's... A, yeah. Board which, yeah, I mean, FM is definitely much better than that. Better than FIFA in terms of, well, everything, in fact. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a single area where FM doesn't beat FIFA. Into, oh, I guess graphics. In fact, not even, I guess, graphics. Graphics. That's the only area I can think of. Right. Okay. Not the strongest lineup, but hey, needs must, right? I would like to... to I feel like our centre-back lineup has remained quite static for a little while, and I would like to try and find some young centre-backs that we can grow, because I feel like the ones we've got at the moment are kind of peaking, maxing out a little bit, and it feels like an area of our team that, particularly as we have three of them, maybe like just start paying a little bit more attention to players who are center backs uh. yeah madison oh central midfield james madison what we're we talking for pace six pace uh he is 34 years old although wow i'd figure that a six pace also, Dovbik is 34 um 32. Soyuncu must be 35. <laughs> Levakovic must be fairly old as well, right? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. We're going to get a second go at it, chat. Levakovic is 36. Have Fenerbahce actually got anyone in this team who's under 30? I want to look now. <laughs> also, Soyuncu left back is intriguing. Can yeah, our midfielders with the high intensity are going to be able to... Right. I want to just look at their team. So... Is 21. Okay, so they've got a regen in their team. With Bacow, who's 35. Kaplan, who's 28. There you go. So Unchu's in his 30s. They've got Minchev, who's 30. Yukshek, who's 32. Madison, who's 34. Idenix, 26. There you go. And then Morphe, who is 26. So yeah, most of their team is over 30. It's a very FM transfer, though, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I feel like just on pure like physical ability we should be able to give him a good game here oh but they've got a couple of players that have a decent yeah have okay sort of physicals but god we have a lot of players back have we got everybody back is that the new uh, set piece i think there's a chance we're at home as well i think we should be able to just outrun them this might be the type of game where if we can keep it nil nil for like 60 minutes we might just be able to use our sheer, sheer physicality to get through them. Palacio, ball across. It's all the way in. It was a nice idea. It's boiling fat. He's going to shoot, isn't he? Go on, Fanny. Oh, it's off the post. Yeah, the, the lack of centre-back. But, like, what can we do about it? We can't suddenly make our centre-backs not be injured, unfortunately. So, the man, even if we had the best centre-backs in the world, they wouldn't have been familiar playing together. So, that's just a fact. Nothing we can do about it. Uh, I'm more worried about their lack of match sharpness, honestly. Oh, that was nice from Tony. Come on, Palacio. This is another one reason why I feel like we it would be bad for us to have Palacio playing libero today because him his physical ability out on that wingback spot is going to be even more important today. As is Vida. 
I think this has to be the day that Vida breaks his duck to get an assist, right? Considering who he's up against. And, oh, well, literally, there it is. Melman scores again. Vida gets his... <laughs> chat, I spoke it into existence. There it is. Vida gets his first assist of the season, and Melman grabs his 13th goal in the Champions League. He has 13 Champions League goals, and this is the first game in the group. How is that even an assist at that point? What was the two options for a country? Something like development or developed? Oh, Christ. Um, hang on. The whole youth date. No, no. So the develop and developed thing was to do with um, players wanting to move, if I recall, to the country. As well. Tara pulls it across and it's nearly in. I don't believe that was to do with um, the youth intakes. The, the, it was the nation developed status, basically. So what we had to change with Hungary is because they had it as basically not being a developed nation. It was like, what? When it had some other nations that were clearly, yeah. I believe those are the three. Third world developed and developing, yeah. Loves delivery. Well, true. Bear in mind, that is not the reason his name is Melman. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, there's lots of bodies there. That's an annoyingly nice goal, but I think... Yeah, that's just an annoyingly nice goal. Who else should get an assist? What do you mean? I mean, no one should get an assist because it was a shot that the keepers deflected. I feel like in FM half the time, if they have a shot and it's deflected from another player, they don't often get the assist for it. But yeah, if it was FPL, then fine. But that's not really how it works in real life, is it? It's, yeah, it's because of like quality of living and stuff like that is one of the reasons they use. We've had a lot of shots so far, which is good. But the quality has been... I mean, I suppose this was a tap in. So was ours. So that our quality of shot isn't amazing. 48 million quid. Wow. That's a... Just a tr it sounds like the type of business Fulham do. Well, for anything, I don't believe it does. But we'll see. Um, we've played... I'm a bit disappointed in us, honestly. After the way we started that. Defence has actually been okay, other than they sort of switched off for that goal. Oh, come on. This feels like the type of game that we're, we can win. No, Hadrian didn't change any of the youth levels. We didn't want to change anything like that. Um, I imagine it's possibly gone up by one or two. But that's it. Maybe not as much as that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. More likely one. If, if it's gone up at all, it would have been by one point. Luckily, that doesn't really matter too much to us. Look at that. That's more like Prime Vida there. That's what I'm talking about. That... Oh, my life. That's less what I'm talking about. But Vida getting back and making those interceptions. This is... This is the Vida of a year and a half ago we're seeing in this game. That intensity to get back and win the ball off of players. We haven't really seen that as much. Although, if someone else could, like, stop making Vida have to constantly do that, that'd be fabulous. If we just stop losing the ball for a second. Watara's in! Henry Watara! It's blocked. Longello down for Palacio now. Oh, god damn it. That random sprints that he makes are just so cool to see. Valley shot me in. No. Um, we suspect that it will be the end of this year. Oh, he would be so annoyed. Look at him. The space he's got there. He's at the back post. He could maybe get a goal here. Ball across, cleared away again. But look, Palacio's got the energy. We've got two of them at it now. Oh, big tackle. Right? Just get the ball to Vida. I love how every time we win or lose possession, Vida's just up and down like nobody's business. Watara is offside, surely. Oh. I feel like just we progress into the second half here. Eventually, Vida's just going to find space and create something because he is on it today. Watara, I mean, he's miles offside. This is. Oh, sorry, Viva. I thought you were um, questioning that he shouldn't. That someone else should have got the assist. Context is difficult for me, you know? <laughs> he feels like it, doesn't he? Right, I'm trying to think. I want to kind of freshen up the squad around that. So that way, as they make changes, inevitably. What a save! That is an unbelievable stop there from Vizhnevsky. If we'd have lost this to that guy in a goal, I would have been very annoyed. It's a cool free kick, though. I'd be curious to see if our free kicks change. Like, our set-piece stuff changes at all. Oh, as if. I guess, higher rep. He makes a beautiful save, and then we just go and concede that. There's like three of them there. I guess losing that Lignon height in the box hasn't really helped. That's such an annoying goal to concede as well, right? watara has been piss poor today. We know what to do. Boiling Fanny has actually struggled a little bit. The bench is not looking strong for those positions. 
could do Gay for Longello. Although, no, no, I'm actually not going to do that because he gives us too much forward momentum. And I want to actually, instead of going for John, I'm going to go for um for Fafana because he's got pure pace. Ever not libero because he we needed someone else to play Over in off the we needed someone to play proper centre back role because of the injuries and he's an actual centre back whereas boiling I mean we could always switch them across but I don't know how that's going to work out. Kenzie's thank you for the follow and drop bear thank you for the two months. Come on, let's turn this around. Let's start making the concert of competitions. I don't know because we've not seen enough of them like fully make it like properly make it in yet to see a difference. But I don't know. We'll let you know when that finally comes to pass. I'm really annoyed that we're losing this now. I feel like we've been better than the result is suggesting. That's a good touch from Fane. Right, come on. Find the pass. Oh, that's just a... No, he's onside. It's onside. We're level. It's annoying us. I'm just about to take him off, but we take it. Level again. Two all. Watara finally scores. That was a really nice goal. Ironically, it was two players that I'm literally just about to take off, I think, combining. That touch from Fane was nice, but Longello just... Bloody hell, that was tight. It's nice to see someone other than Melman scoring in the Champions League for us, honestly. But he's celebrating his teammate's goal. We like that. Okay. Two all. We can build on this. I just feel like Fafana, with the speed that he's going to have, is going to cause those tired older defenders a lot of problems over the next 20 minutes. If we can just get the right pass to him. This would be an annoying one to not loot, to not win, honestly. I think our... Oh, here we go. He's going to take the corner here. That's a really lofted cross. Like, oddly lofted. Uh, not a very good cross is what I mean. Right, come on. Big header now required. Oh, there's no one there. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> right, let's build it up from the back. I love how no one's retreating into the midfield to actually go and collect the ball. <laughs> They're just waiting for them to launch it. But now we need Jorgensen to step into the midfield, which he now will not do. We're going to bypass him entirely. That's a pass. Fafana with the speed. Fafana with the speed! What a save! Fafana is still in the You're right, he is. Oh, yeah, no, that was my that was my intention. I moved him over so that we had Jorgensen in the middle. I wasn't trying to sub Fane. I was trying to move him and Jorgensen over. He should have scored there, yeah. That's what I wanted to happen. It's just, um, from a, like a tactical perspective, that's what I was trying to create. But if he misses the chance... Also, I love how it's saying that... That must be a different game. Wait, why is it... Oh, that's the Spurs game. That is an irritating as fuck draw. We deserve better than that. That should have been a win. Over opposition defences. Um, I tend not to just randomly change my tactics when I don't know what they're actually going to do. I find that things like playing over the top, like also, yeah, I just I haven't found that works too well, and I don't want to just change it for one random match without. The fact is, we played well enough and should have won the game without any other tactical tweaks. Um, that's frustrating. We should have done better. We're looking better, but those are annoying points to drop. I mean, we definitely have come a long way, but. Damn, that's frustrating. We deserve more than that. Um, particularly after Burton made that such a brilliant save to give away that corner in the first place. It's annoying to then go and concede straight after. But it's money, I guess. Uh, wow, we've actually only got the one, like, game in between, which is against Birkid Car. We've got no one in there, of course. Does that... Oh, it's coefficient points, at least. Which we are now on to 4.8. So we are now finally making progress. We've got more points than last year already and more chance to get points. I reckon we've got to go mid fives. Plus it's a gain over last year too. Although it looks like Norway are... Yeah, I don't think we're going to quite catch Norway. Somehow. But the main thing is we're still above Czechia, still above Israel, still above Poland. So it's still looking like at the moment a three-point gain. Sorry, not three-point. Three-place gain. Which when you consider the fact that we're in the Champions... Also, I'm starting to get concerned that we might just be a Champions League group stage team now. And we might not get another chance to play in the Champ uh, in the Europa League. Because if we're capable of... Uh, no, I don't, we got a bit lucky against Red Star though, perhaps. I feel like if we didn't... If they didn't get that red card, it looked like we were fading in that game and the chances potentially would have started drying up and they kind of already were. And they could have actually had a goal or two even after they got the red card. So perhaps we were slightly fortunate. But I feel like we'll be better next year as well. Safer? Wait, really? Bust up? When did he... I lose track of these things these days. Sabadell. Bit of that. Uh, recruitment for... Ooh, 28. Nice. All new people. Pietro Italiano. What an insanely lovely name. 24th. Uh, so, well, 23rd is the one that gets you second round. Um, Which is what we... I say really want. 
not sure I want it that much because it's obviously nice to have that extra round to just clap someone initially. What a great name, though. <laughs> if it was French, that would have been so good, yeah. Uh, Bukata Manga. They definitely need one. Metalist Kharkiv, okay. Busy. I feel like... Oh, I'm actually not scouting them. Travis and Sport. We'll scout them anyway, but they're very expensive players, unfortunately. But also, Koshkin Koch. Good name. Or is that Choshkin? Was that new ones as well? No. Oh, that's Dada's lot, isn't it? Two good points. It's not even that. It's just... I, I just see players and I'm like, that guy's kind of decent. And that's why for me there's a difference between actually decent and FM decent. Premier League TV rights race. Hang on a minute. Oh, is this like the default one? Damn. Holy shit. It's going from 10 million to 18 million. An actual TV... Look, this is the actual TV rights. That's actually really cool. This is the default one. Bear in mind, though, that's split between every single team. So it's not 18 million each. That's every team gets a percentage of the 18 million. Plus, as the parachute payments go up slightly as well. Um, that's cool, though. We haven't had that for a little while. So this is the new agreement for three years. Nice. That's that's a good amount, though. With the amount we've gained in the last three years, nearly a doubling. How is that 66%? Go from oh, I suppose it's 11, essentially, nearly, isn't it? Clates with the huge raid! Welcome in, friend. Welcome in, everybody. We were just getting a TV deal, as you do. I've always wanted a TV deal. I feel like I'd get a terrible Fiona! reaction out of it as well, but you never know. Beyond Ultra Gaming, thank you very much for the 12 months. Was that following there as well? My apologies. I'm scrolling on the wrong screen. Terry Screw Loose, thank you for the follow. And Stephen Foskett, thank you for the eight months. Welcome in, everybody. Um, yeah, our TV money's going up, which is nice for once. 12 months. Ra -ra -ra -ra. Okay, you've got to explain the rah, 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 rah. I, I, need, I need information, Chato. Sevi, thank you for the follow. We've Afternoon somehow managed to botch Martin our way into the Champions Chato. League group again. And as a result, are actually doing okay, to be honest. Bring on! Bit of Shale... Uh, place has it. Uh, context. <laughs> I await context. Let's see. Oh, Hammond drop point. Every single player that's on both... All the goal scorers for this game are either players we sold to them or players that are on loan from us. Resub sound. It's, um... That's just a uh, crowd noise. Matt and Pog go shopping. You mean the Pog vlog? Potentially. Sweetie with a bit... Oh, John... Oh, yeah, we also have this guy. This is John Don Suck. And he very much does not suck. He is extremely excellent. And he's already scored his first goal for them, which we take. Champions League go... Uh, well, we actually got into it. Um, We lost at home against Red Bull Salzburg. And then they got a red card in the away leg and we beat them 5-2 in extra time. Shout out to the menus. No, unfortunately, Ben, there isn't. The game yes, sort of... I it hides a lot of that information <laughs> because you know why would you want that information but no it, it doesn't in fact i don't know if you could even see it when you there's like one line in it well there was there you go yeah it tells you the length of the contract <laughs> that's literally it oh was there a team report uh job is in thank you for the follow you need a wee clates at the video of a dog in the back of a car request to go to the toilet <laughs> was that noise? I'll have to remember that next time I need a pee break. Oh, the Fulham here. Yeah, I know. He was clean through. Just dink it. But he just tries to slide it under the goalkeeper as if the keeper's not going to block it along the floor. It was so... I think at that point I just turned the stream off. Yes, yeah, so we've got another four years on. Another three years on. Not that it matters because obviously we've got our own parallel TV deal that's actually doing the work. But it's nice to know that the inbuilt one is, for the moment at least, actually tracking with our improvement in the coefficients. Champions League League Champ we were actually discussing this um earlier about how annoying I find the calling of the Champions League League phase. So we've decided to call it the big group from now on. There's so many things that they hide though. Do you remember various reasons slipknotting when the player wouldn't go on loan and it just said various reasons? And it was clickable, but nothing happened. Like, what are the reasons then? Oh, there's various. You you wouldn't loan. They go to a different school. Uh Harry Amas. Harry Amas. Harry Amas. Which sounds even better, actually. Yeah, you know, reasons. Yeah, he's actually quite decent. Only seven games for Blackburn, which is... I'm guessing he's only just joined them. No, that was last summer, wasn't it? No, that is this year. Yeah, to be fair, he's only just joined Blackburn off of United. He's finally sort of got his career back going again. Which we don't mind. Ah. Well, they actually paid for him. 
He was at Watford back in the day. Yeah, he just never really got going there. I mean, he's only 25 grand a week at Blackburn, so he's doing fine. He's like, why I'm not taking about Yeah, exactly. It's the only reason, Ollie. He's he just called various reasons. It's actually pronounced various raisons. Thank you very much. What was his value? Expecting more game time. Um, oh, John. But the thing is, buddy. Oh, buddy, old pal. You're just not as... Actually, you are going to get some game time because I'm going to play you in this game and then that'll be lovely. I don't know the problem, though. I don't think they were, were they? I, I have noticed, though, randomly, sometimes second... Do you remember when Luton, in the championship, at, in my last save, at, who had never at any point been in the Premier League, had a guy on 70 grand a week in the championship? Small group. I guess? No, nah, good point. But still, I like the big group. It just it just works. Uh, various reasons for a wather thin sparrow. Here we go. Ah, wait. Will the S make all the difference? It does not. Sadly not. Right, this is rotation again. Since we were provenly capable to do with that. That sentence I just said had words in it, but they didn't sort of all link up in a cohesive manner. Much like many other sentences I have been known to speak. Yeah, so this is going to be a... We might actually be able to start getting away with this. Or at the very least, we could lose a bit of games at the start of the season while we're trying to do this. And then not have to worry too much about it. And then if th the big boy stage works as well. I don't mind a bit of that. Average group in the Conference League, small group. I guess, but no, because they're still the big group, right? Oh, we drew against Fenerbahce 2 all. We battered them, but we drew 2 all because words. Big boy stage. I don't mind big boy stage. The main stage. How about that? So it's like a music festival. The thick stage. <laughs> yes. I like the main stage. And then, like, you can have the um, Conference League being, like, the BBC introducing stage. <laughs> I'm here for that. Also, Panache. Still playing at Birkikara, by the way. The headline stage. Yes. Europa is the pyramid stage. Yes. Now we're talking. I like that. We're going to treat the co the European competitions like a music festival. Uh, fair play to Watara as well for actually bailing us out there. Champions League, 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 League. Yeah, true. Uh, Danny Hume's back in again. Dick suffers defeat against former club. Oh, Dick. You poor man. The conference tent, yes. As if they, would they get a full tent? Do you think the qualifiers are like the um, the opening acts? Which means, in my head, download. But that's just because of where my brain goes. This is a tune. I can't... Now, now that I've heard this song again, I cannot not think of Derry Girls when I hear this song. Pog and I finished it on Friday night genuinely fabulous like so fucking good i've literally been listening to a, the a playlist on spotify just called the every song in dairy girls and the songs are so good as well there's so much good music in that show as well saw carrots in the conference yeah exactly before they were signed before we were on universal okay well we managed to get a win despite playing a rotated side which is at least something uh oh well I'm not scouting them again what a waste of time. Dunks it out with the headphones and on the bus. <laughs> but it's not even out of like a good sounding phone. It's like a flip phone. Like it's a Motorola V220. The Battle of the Bands. Yes, it's live and unsigned. Fiona! Anyone remember that? If you played in a band around 2010, you'll remember that. Eyes on the horizon. Thank you for the follow. Tashim with a big win. Well, a win. Second place come with the world behind camp rock music. Yes, obviously. And actually, arguably the third. You reckon? Yeah, because it's the song they play at the very end of the show, isn't it, Fraj? Like the last scene. Um, in fact, that's why I wanted to check that it wasn't on. A bit weird though. I thought it was fabulous. I, I just just did. It was just so fucking good. It managed to be both funny and also wholesome and heartfelt at the same time. It was just really good. Um, it's the third best because it goes. Cat Rock, then the Battle of the Bands in the movie School of Rock, followed by the Champions League. That's the top three. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. Y you can't forget that because, chat, I am the principal of a school. Every time Pog and I see Joan Cusack in, every in anything, we just say that. It's like a bit we have together. Is he showing more pleasing progress? Good God, he's good. He's just like the ultimate... Yes, boss. I will get that done for you, boss. 
He's basically the Dwight Schrute of Chilean footballers. There you go. It's time to do drama this summer. <laughs> oh. Oh, it was awesome. See nothing. I haven't, no. Uh, have a bit of that as well. You would not, you're right. It's just a case of FM just doesn't like heading, does it? Scott Pilgrim. Oh, I I'm right. This is a hot take. I don't really like Scott Pilgrim that much. Chat's immediately like unsubbed, unfollow, whatever. I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan of Scott Pilgrim as a movie or whatever. I'm just, it just isn't for me. In FM24, let me have a look. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I knew you'd lead the charge. Ta yeah, tackling won't improve. Heading will improve. Um, it's just annoying how badly players start with heading, right? Draw for it. Bear in mind, it's been out for a long time. And I remember seeing it, it was around. I just didn't see what the fuss was about, basically. It's, it's not like I think it's a bad film. I just don't see... I don't think it's that amazing, is my point. Um, I like that with a lot of music as well. Like uh, I've got 713 hours in FM23. which Sorry, FM24, which isn't as much as I thought. The event called the Europa Conference League League Conference. It could be. It's like the Bilderberg Group, but with terrible football teams. <laughs> would suit Pog, to be honest. Um, uh, Pog doesn't like it either, honestly. For what I know, anyway. Scott Dixon. Yeah, now you're talking. <laughs> Give me Scott Dixon. Or former Fulham and Huddersfield left-back Scott Malone. Now we're talking. Everything. Yeah, I when did it come out? I'm trying to work out how old I was. Never. I've never actually seen Donnie Darker, so I have no. Scott McLaughlin, too, yeah. Build a bear group. <laughs> yes, for now I'm just going to call it that. Uh, new animated. Ah, it's not for me, is it? Scott Parker. Oh, I don't know. Just ask Bournemouth, Fulham fans, Club Brugge fans. I think the Scott Parker. Oh, he's a bit naff. Train is um. 2009. Oh yeah, so I'd have been like 19. <laughs> Probably why I wasn't really in it. On Twitch. Yeah, yeah. I, I stream on Twitch um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Uh, pretty much every week. Well, not every week. No, Tuesdays and Thursdays, literally every week. Chono Samba. Uh, that is that is a player. Or was. A Fifi. Oh! That's weird, considering I've not been playing him. <laughs> well, alright then. <laughs> He's just got used to neglect. So, so I doubt it, Joel. Um, From what I've heard, I was looking at Jeff Gluck's Twitter earlier, and he was basically saying that there was almost... The, the rain is expected at Daytona until like early evening local time. So I see no way that they're getting the 500 in today. And I am disappoint. Oh, yeah, no, he absolutely was an FM legend. Um, so I couldn't understand the context side, but that's what I was trying to get at. Right. Norton took a droid by. by an, hang on. So that means it's now nine consecutive. Do not receive it. Yeah, I know. I don't have to stay up to watch it, but. <sighs> Maybe. Long about for. Oh, just the weekend. So Bayern have now lost, are now winless in nine Champions League group stage games. Maybe about the loans for transfer offers thing. Oh uh, yeah, it's done. It's the latest video. Um, it's literally called the new toolkit for building a nation loan farm or something. It's a it's a recap video, but I do talk about that concept, so it's already done. Rain will dry quickly. Yeah, but the thing is, it's so humid, isn't it? It's Florida, isn't it? So I don't see. And besides, it's not just a case of like a little bit dry. It has to be like bone dry. Oh, okay. Time for the team training shuffle. <laughs> Got to get the team off our back again. You'll love to see it. With Renat. I don't know who that is. I don't know right? It's the most, most recent video I put out, basically. It, it, we do talk all about, particularly with the thing we discovered. Well, I say we discovered that someone in that video pointed out to me in the comments that absolutely changed things, which is the whole zero pound asking price transfer list element of things which is so good oh there he is and that's made a huge difference so absolutely if you're struggling to get loan players out list them for transfer zero asking price don't offer them out like that and then you'll just suddenly get loan interest in them it's weird but it does work we've, we're up to 97 loans today we started at 68 it's so weird and it's slip loan but it does seem to work it gets them off your back for a month i don't know if it even improves their morale but it does stop them complaining about it so you can't really complain what a third oh, seriously? Oh, fair one. Fair play. Uh, hello, Leaf. Out in the town. We know you. We know you're a woman about town, Leaf. That sounds like I called you a prostitute. That was not my intention. 
<laughs> it's not what I meant. I, uh, I'm going to move on. Mm. <laughs> <It's not> my... <laughs> oh, dear. I apologize, Leafy. <laughs> we move. It's Celtic time. Did Celtic win there for... For some reason, I thought that was the same thing. Oh. <laughs> Roxanne <laughs> taking it to the streets. <laughs> That's quite an interesting surname. Novosadko. Don't mind. Ooh. Not even that awful. Cost a bit of money, though. Monthly payments for loan pay. I think what it is, a lot of it, what it seems to do a lot of the time as well, is it, it does drum up like actual transfer interest in the players as well. And then you can sort of switch it over to being loan interest because they want the player. And then you kind of go, but would you like a loan? And then they're like, oh, okay, I guess we can do that. That seems to be how it works. But it also does seem to drum up genuine on its own loan interest as well. HHHB. Wait, was it your birthday? Did I miss the literally the word birthday? Oh! <laughs> so, Leaf, what I've done there is ignore the fact that it's your birthday and call you a prostitute. What a day! <laughs> HHHHHBBBBB for Leaf. I'm having an absolutely wild time today, aren't I, Christ? Hello, Fred! How's it going, man? <laughs> what what more birthday treat could you ask, Leafy? <laughs> yeah, it's building a nation, yeah. Oh, that's Cristiano Ronaldo. How, how I wonder how he's up what he's up to these days. Yeah. If he was cheaper, we'd definitely pick him up. Where's the thank you? Oh yeah, sorry, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being born, Leaf, as we say around here. <laughs> and it's a two for one, Ollie. Like, never let it be said, I do not provide value, all right? Why the hell did the British Heart Foundation go, yes, that's a streamer I want to sponsor. <laughs> and shout out to them for that. <sighs> they know it's all in jest. Uh, we'll... Actually, we've not got that much time. We want to get the Celtic game done, so let's just send these guys all around again, because there's some freebies in there I want to pick up next time. Nothing wrong with a little bit... Of... Exactly, but what's, what's a bit of birthday solicitation amongst friends, eh? Okay. Right, we're going to have to take... Actually, will Boiling Fanny have to play for us in this game too? So, Watara and Guerrero, as much as I don't want that to happen, it, it's not going to happen. Camgo, Longello, Sunday, Palacio, Vida. Yeah, so this time around, I'm going to start um, Boiling Fanny on the... Actually, what foot? Oh, he's got on both feet. That's why they played him there. Yeah, I want Jorgensen back in the middle because he just feels... Yeah. They actually are good, Fred. Like, we somehow botched our way into the Champions League group again. Sorry, the big group. No. Uh, the, the main stage. The headline act. Right. I love that Raymond has now come on as well. I call the police and the <laughs> makes it perfect. It's true. It's the combination that makes it work, right? So about the Dimitri. The thing about... I don't know. Is Dimitri even in the squad for Europe? Yes. Ah, but he played in the last game. Oh, they're both kind of dead, aren't they? <laughs> British Heart Foundation thought who is most likely to have heart trouble. Then they realised it was FM Gamers. I mean, they're not wrong. Uh, no, I'm actually pretty happy with the Tactics Cyber Games on account of it working. So I'm actually going to leave it just as it is, but thank you. Group face. Thing. Yeah, we, we were discussing what to call it earlier, Mr. Progress, because I'm sick of calling it the Champions League League face. So I've decided either big group or headline stage. 233 million. That seems reasonable. I mean, kind of win-win for you, right? The League League, yeah. Now, at least he's right-footed. <laughs> Unfortunately, Leaf, given what we've learned about Australia today over the last few streams, the best they're going to do is put loan bids in for my players when I don't want them. But MacArthur FC are all over it, so don't worry. Right, yeah, we'll try that. Uh, wow, Fafana must have played the last game. Khalifa's in. God, those defenders can't come back soon enough. The Royal Rumble stage. What's Celtic looking like these days, then? It's Calvin Ramsey, Kuzma, Andy Irvin. Odin Thiago Hot. Is he a Celtic in real life? Oh, he is. That's kind of sick. Love that for him. Love it. Oh, works fine for me. We just had a baby. Congratulations, man. I'd love to see it. Thank you very much for the nine months, my big forehead. That's very kind. Vizine oh, was Vizinevsky not in? God, my bloody assistant, man. He loves a bit of Richard, doesn't he? Just loves that Richard. Cool. Um, That should be good. The leaf face. Okay. This feels, again, another more game. Another game that he's 
on the verge of maybe being at least pointable. Well, I'm still gutted we lost to uh, Drew Defenerbahce though. That, that should have been a win. We were actually really good in that game. Celtic are, I'd say, better. Celtic have pulled off some quite good results in this save so far, so we'll see. Hmm. Plus, they've got people like Maida. Like, this is a good team. Just loves that day. I mean, it wouldn't be the first. We I mean, had a player called Dick for the last eight years. He's finally left. Club Legend Dick. I mean, you can't confuse it with Club Legend Dick. The eagle-eyed among you might notice I've reverted to a slightly smaller water bottle. Uh, I find that I, with my 2.2 litre one, firstly, it's like drinking out of a water bar. And secondly, I find that I don't actually use it as much as I should do. So having a nice, normal, one litre one, which is very pretty coloured, thanks to Paul, feels, feels more appropriate. And the entire time I was explaining that, the game is now half an hour in and nothing has happened. Which, in a way, is fine, I guess. Um, we might as well get the league stage, the actual table up instead, because... The other scores aren't really that relevant to us right now. It's actually how the table looks. Five litre bottle that's comically... As if the 2.2 wasn't already comically large. Was gin. I mean, depends on how this result goes, son of a quiche. We'll, we'll see. Point being, though, we're actually doing a quite a decent job defensively in this one, which means we're definitely going to concede a random... Silence at the back. Oh, no, I'm aware of that. We've been using it for like two years now. Um, it's also not that solid at the back, as honestly. So, is he going to take the free kick eventually? Yeah, that was always going to happen. It's like, yeah, it can be solid. It just depends on the opponent, right? You will stick a tall apart a lot of the time. One you have to get up and stretch. That's the other thing, Ben. Yeah, it's an encouragement to move around a little bit. Like, I filled this up during the British Heart Foundation um, sponsor bit, and I was, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's why I was so out of breath when I got back. I have won a showdown, yes, just the one, somehow. Uh, the worst first half of all time. Do you might I love how the rest of the team took that the correct way, but Melman's like, no, screw you. Okay, second half. Hmm. Um. I mean, I guess I'd take a boring nil-nil draw. It's a point. How many points did we get in the Champions League last year? It was five, wasn't it? What's our oh, we got Dinamo Zagreb to play. That feels like another one. We've had one highlight in this match in 65 minutes, and it was a freak. Hey, look, a highlight! Imagine if we actually took the lead at Celtic Park. Ball in, nobody there. Where's Vida? Like, shouldn't we have a wing back in this kind of position? Jorgensen. Wait, oh, no. That's just deflected. I draw would be good for coefficient. It's just more points. Um, I'd be good if, if we got a clean sheet at Celtic Park. I'd be pretty happy. Oh, that's a good little touch from Vida. Cam goes into the box. Please square it. Yes! Celtic nil, Sirens won. The mailman has delivered yet again. He's done it. 14th goal in the Champions League this season, and we're only two matches into the group stage. Look at that. That was brilliant. Kamga makes the late run. I thought he was going to shoot from there, but he didn't. Drops it across for the man. Come on. That is beautiful. Now watch them suddenly score two goals out of nothing, considering they've created absolutely sod all in this game. Watara's going to come off. I'm going to go with John. Palacio. Yeah, we can't really change that. I don't want to change the defense at all. But they've actually done a really good job. Just looking at the bench. I think I might get Vida off and get Ndoyon because he's better defensively. But other than that, I actually don't want to make too many subs here. Well, I think we've been the better team. Quite simply. We have definitely been the better team. But this is FM. They have a higher world rep than we do, which means we are going to concede two random goals. The question is, how is it going to come about? Late penalty, perhaps? Deflections? Set-piece goal is often a good way. Oh, that's a great pass. Go on, slip him through. Off the bar! Long get- Oh, my God! That better have been offside. <laughs> I swear to God, if we don't win this game now... That reminds me so much of the Carter free kick in the Premier League years video. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Just we have defence. Actually, it's all cool. And also, Cyber, it's it's okay. I've got this. I don't need you to backseat every single decision. I promise it's going to be okay. We don't really do that. It's just there's no need for it. It's all good. Actually, yeah, fuck it. What 
the f was that? Ah. Uh, okay, right. Provided we win, it doesn't matter. We're not going to win. <laughs> Something is going to go wrong here. I can feel it. Was he on side? Oh, good. Yeah, because it's counting, doesn't it? Uh, right, let me just check to make sure. I think we need a midfield. God, we are a bit. No, I... they're just tired. But the problem is the players I'm bringing on have would add nothing to that part of the pitch. I want to see if I can move any run around. Longello can kind of do that, and Doi can kind of. No, they can't really. Hmm. Yeah, the... we're a bit light on CMs on the bench at the moment. That's my fault. <laughs> Obviously, who else is fault? Would it be? Uh... Actually, I'm gonna get boiling Fanny on for Camga. Yeah, you know what? You're right. If we, to be fair, Saz, if we sub, they score. If we don't sub, they score. You kind of, yeah. Um, you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's one of these situations where I think it's just best to leave it, but we'll never know, right? Um, Celtic are going to equalise at least. Oh, hang on a minute. Come on. Oh, no. We actually had a chance for a breakaway there and we fucked it. We've just, we've seen this movie so many times in FM where you dominate an entire game, you miss chances like that, they'll get either a late penalty or just deflected goal or something. It's just how it is, right? It's particularly in Europe. Oh, long range deflector? It's offside, it's offside, it's offside. It's not going to be given. Oh, actually, it might no, the game might not consider the assist off the post. I don't think it's going to be given because it didn't say... Yep, good. Come on. Oh, that must have been fucking close, though. Oh, no. He's actually comfortably offside there. Good effort. But maybe that could be the bullet dodged. Well, the reason it was off is because it literally didn't show an assister. But I feel because it hit the post, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, what a touch from Melman. Slide him in. Come on. Second goal here and it's over. Loads of bodies forward. Kamga and Lend. Melman has now missed the target again. How are we only 1-0 up at Celtic Park? You've got 14 goals this season, bro. Right, I might actually just turn this on to time-wasting now. Just for the final two minutes to get this win over the line if we can. Come on, one more minute. Fucking yes. Get in. Celtic nil. Sirens won. Melman with the banger. Uh, we've underperformed our XG in Europe so far this season, but at least we've got four points from two games. That's amazing. What a result that is. Whew. I don't know how he missed that, but wow, Kamka had six key passes in this game. Melman actually had more than a full XG. But hey, we take it. We should have won the last game too, but that shows how much better we're looking. That was very good. Look how quiet we kept Celtic. I'm really impressed with the defense, considering those guys don't really play together that often. I think if we beat Dinamo Zagreb, that would take us to seven. Seven isn't going to get you qualified. You want at least nine. Eight occasionally will get you in there, but seven is almost never. I think during the MTK save, seven points only qualified you in the top 24 one time in 27 years. So I think you want eight minimum, nine really. 2.4 million though is very nice. But the question is though, right? We've got Villarreal. That's a way though, isn't it? No, Villarreal at home. We got a draw against them last time. We've got Dino Zagreb away. I feel like we could potentially win that. Tottenham, we got a draw against Tottenham last season. And we played well. I, don't, I think there's a chance for us. We might be able to sneak through here. Just. I wonder if Bayern lost again. Might be playing tomorrow in fairness. Not to, yeah, 10's very, very right. I don't think I've ever seen that myself. But usually 9 is pretty much, you're fine. Um, okay. Get four more. I think four more would give us eight, which would be lost over portal, did they? Oh, you're right, they did, didn't they? So have they still not Oh no, they have. They they beat um Real Sociedad. So yeah, Bayern have Bayern have won one of their last ten Champions League group stage games. Chelsea are in the Europa League. That's scary. Looks like England are winning that. Not got yeah, well, this is the thing. We were we were actually very close to qualifying for the top eight in the Europa League that year when we got through. Uh, I realised that when we looked at the goal difference thing, we were one goal difference away if we'd won that game um, from getting there, which would have been insane. How's Goodyear's squad looking up these days? We've got some solid players in there as well. Also, note how a lot of these guys are not even... Also, 
Do you want any more Brazilians in there, lads? Fair play. Could be no one left. Cool. Um, I mean, my my wanting to be in the Europa League this year was simply because I thought we'd win. Ga As I say that, Chelsea lose to Midland. <laughs> Game's like, mm, you sure about that, bruv? Apparently not. I just thought that we would lose too many games in the Champions League like we did last time, but oh, maybe we are improving. Big up Midtjylland. Although, hopefully... No, we're not actually close to Denmark, are we? We should be okay. I'm going to start setting some of these guys available for like 20 minutes just to start... Get actually, that was one match, wasn't it? And now this is broken. Yeah, 20 minutes until match. It just slowly will wean them back in. It just means if we do actually need them. Oh, you're actually a Midtjylland fan. Fair play. I really enjoyed my very short save in Midland a few years ago. I say a few years ago. It was eight years ago. Jesus Christ. I've been doing this nearly 10 years, mate. Like, the end of this year, in September, it'll be the 10th anniversary of me starting this YouTube channel. Well, not this YouTube channel. This is a Twitch channel, Matt. You get my point. It remains the same. Oh, that's a nice little few players in there. Oh, the Universidad as well. Uh, Heron Vane. They'll be too expensive for us. Oh, hello. Who are you? That's a... He could be a genuinely interesting look up there. Not the Vibe Channel either. No, 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 no. Oh, the Saudi guy is looking decent, but the amount of money he wants is just unruly. Wow. Okay. He might just be a sign-up anyway. The St. Pauli sacking. Oh, to be fair, if we hadn't have had that sacking, we wouldn't have then got the Red Star save, and that's still one of my favourite ones all the time. All the time. One of my favourite saves of all time. So I'm glad... I'm glad the St. Pauli situation happened. Speaking of St. Pauli... Only just like last week, I think, lost their first league game of the season. So big up them. And yet they're still only like a couple of points clear. Uh... Oh yeah, it's literally him. <laughs> Christ, my brain is all over the place today, mate. Bit of that. Bit of that. Oh, just the one. Okay. Scroll that up a little bit. Yeah, three years is fine. I probably could have got away without actually doing that. Longer stream today. It is not, no. Uh, it's just normal length stream. Because the football kicks off at two o'clock, does it not? Uh, which means we'll get we'll quickly do that though. Change the coefficients though. Yeah, I think I can see a definite logic behind that. Ramos is still back in that squad, in fairness, too. 8 0 of a good year. Oh, there's a lot of trialees in that. Wait, no, that's the players that have been set for it. Although Danny did play in that one. Right. A bit of circle. We didn't we sign an extremely expensive player from the circle the circle Bruggers last season. No, not last season, sorry, last. Didn't he already do that? Other teams, yeah, and then the sausage train can finally return to the Bundesliga again. I'd be happy for them there. Lewis starting strongly. Hibernians. Okay. Right. This we can go, well, not full strength, but fairly full strength for it. I feel like I can get away with playing Melman in this one because there's a nice gap afterwards. Give some of the other lads a wow, really? Okay, intriguing. This might be the type of game for the Sultan, actually. Oh, no, except he is ineligible because he's playing in the other game. That's why I don't do that that often. We'll be okay. Yeah, Van Arken got 19 in the league last season for um, Luther. What a loan signing he's been. No, Francois Javier Hardy, I believe, was Anderlech. Uh, the Circle Blue guy was never... What he ended up being um, like a loan farmer predominantly, even though we paid like £11 million pounds for him. Watara, Melman, gone. well, that's the perfect trio of goal scorers, frankly. How many goals has he got this season now? We don't need the loan farm view now because we're not doing any more loans for the time being. 15 goals in 10 matches and 3 assists. He's averaging an 8.51. And speaking of assists, is Vida, how's he doing on that? Yeah, and Doi has literally got 6 assists in 471 minutes, whereas Vida has managed 1 in 729 minutes. But I bet you and Doi's XA is lower. He's got XA of 2.25. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vida, 5.38. That's not even his fault. He's putting the chances on. They're just not taking them. Oh. Love that for him. I can't remember which is old and which is new. I guess he's going to have to go with both. Love that. Right. Uh, in that case, it's two o'clock now, isn't it? So we'll save the game there. Move to the big screen. And find the lovely gentleman or lady to raid this afternoon. Don't know who's actually live this afternoon. Uh, what we got? Oh... Chat, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling salty. Just feeling extra salty today. Um, which is ironic, because for once, I'm actually not. But I am. And I'm going to make you lot extra salty. I've spelt salty wrong. Look at me go. Pro streamer and everything. 
<laughs> Return to Manchester. Oh, don't do that to me, Leaf. I was having a good time. Band saves. Um, I believe so. Tony Jameson does one in Greece. We were talking about it on the podcast the other day. Uh, right, there we go. I'm going to raid over to Salty. Thank you for joining me today, friends. Uh, that was very fun, actually. I think the Lone Farmer stuff is definitely going in the right direction now. To go from 68 to 97 is a massive step in the right direction. And I feel like now we just need to keep signing players that actually fit that mold. And we can start to get MTK levels of loans, maybe even more. And also, if you are interested, do the British Heart Foundation CPR course. Maybe you'll, uh, you, well, hopefully you'll learn something from it. And I'm definitely going to do it myself. So yes, thank you for joining me today, friends. Um, I will see you lovely people on Tuesday. And for more Champions League action, I'll see you soon. Hold your gun. Capybara. Uh, where's my button? Bye-bye. <laughs>